Last week, I was but a cyber boy. This week, I have become a cyber man. Oh god, yellow doesn't work on a green screen, does it? Boo! Alright, well, hey guys. What up? Now I'm sad. My dumb cyber person bit failed because of yellow not being too, yellow is too close to green. Look at that. That's actually really fun. Holy shit. Just, yeah, get rid of my face. No face. I don't need a face. What up, guys? <laughs> oh, man. Where's, where's my thing? Where's cover up that beautiful face so I can actually pay attention to the shit? There we go. What up, guys? <laughs> It did look cool with the visor still, yeah. I was hope I forgot, you know, green, yellow, it's not, it's too close. It doesn't, doesn't work with green screens. Uh, hey guys, wait, what up? Great morality! Stuck in the bone zone, 16 months, thanks very much. First streak of the night. Much appreciated. Thanks for your continued support for crazy, crazy time, crazy person. Hmm. It did look cool. Uh, uh, yes. Hi. I'm just. Oh! Chi Chan! Stuck in the bone zone! 28 months! Too many months. That is too many months. Second break of the night. Look at this. You guys got me starting already. Mm. You wouldn't be able to see into a skull mug. Also, yeah, there's a bit mug thing there. Only for the bit where I'm talking to you guys with this. Not in the Valhalla part, because I don't want to detract from the amazing fucking experience that is Valhalla. Um, God, I've been so excited to play this game. It's just like, since last week, I'm just like, man, that's a really good game. I was really enjoying it. I can't wait to do it again. And now I'm going to do it again. Also, this is like, what, third, fourth stream in a row? On a fucking roll here, guys. Huh? 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I'm a champ. I'm g I've done like four streams in a row. That's awesome. Or three. I'm not. Mine's a bit hazy. But, yeah, yeah. So, normally this is the bit where I talk about, hey, this is what I've been doing this week, and I got things to talk about. I got nothing to talk about. Uh, it's February. Stuff's happening. Uh, the world's gone insane. Oh, my God! Oh, God. Liver therapia with the bits. Much appreciated. Look at that. Bits go in the bit jar. Oh. Oh, my God. You can see the mug on the thing. I didn't realize that. Weird. Normally I have this part covered up. Ooh, what's the question? Watch it disappear. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I don't have anything to talk about. Um, I didn't do anything of note this week. I watched some He-Man on hit Netflix because I wanted to remember if it was as weird as I remember it being. I wanted to see if it was as weird as I remember it being. And it is. It's dumb. He-Man's dumb. It's a dumb show. In a good way, I guess. In a, in a weird, like, 60s, 70s... Is it 60s or 70s? Or is it 80s? Might be 80s. Oh, Sergeant Devil, have some bits. Thank you for the bits. Much appreciated. Mm. Man. Yeah, no, I just want to play Valhalla. Like, this is going to be a really short, short me talking to you guys for a bit thing, because I just kind of want to play Valhalla. <laughs> I, um, um, I, I, it was a really fun experience last week, and... Like, I bought the soundtrack immediately after I finished streaming last week, which I haven't done since, like, Undertale. Although, I think the, did the soundtrack come with Undertale? I don't remember. Anyway, I needed to get the soundtrack because, listen to this shit. It's amazing. It's so good. Skeletor's so dumb, man. Skeletor is so dumb. Yeah. Yeah. He man. You bumbling boob. I'll get you. That's just, that's all he does. All he does is scream and go, Nyaaah! That's all he does. And then He-Man's just all fucking, I'm He-Man, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, it's a dumb show. They also added She-Ra. I never watched She-Ra. Maybe I should. I wonder if that's as stupid. Uh, oh, am I Tron? Am I Tron? I mean, I'm in the cyberspace because we're going to the future where alcohol is made with weird chemical shit. And, you know, everyone's a waifu, or a very attractive anime person, or a racist, sexist, J. Jonah Jane Jameson character. Probably one of the best characters. Um, <laughs> cyberpunk bartending. 
Yeah, I haven't never saw Shira. Should probably probably watch Shira. Hmm. Oh man, I didn't realize I had done the camera in such a way that my hand goes off screen if I go that way. Whoop. I just need to remember. There is some Undertale music. Yeah, I got I got Undertale in here. Although that's not the actual music. That's like a swing cover. I think he's racist. He's I think he's racist. He seemed to be kind of racist. He's yeah, he's sexist, but I think he was a little racist. Not like a lot, but a little. A little. I got the feeling. A little bit. So, uh, yeah. Just gonna maybe get to like ten drinks, just chill for a minute. Get ready. Uh do some vocal warm-ups. <laughs> Don't worry guys, this week I can go high pitched because this week I had my lemon tea. So I, sh I should be able to hit the higher pitches on my my beautiful voices. I should be able to go to a higher, higher pitch, higher than last week, and higher and higher and higher and higher. <coughs> Still a little hoarse though. Okay, let's just let's just run through some 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 levels. So we'll start as deep as I can get, probably like hmm, like down, 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 low, low, low. It's probably as low as I can get. Talking normally is like down here. Not that low. Thank you, Amber Wolf, for the bits in the bit cup. That's as low as I get, and I try really hard not to keep it British. It's really hard to maintain and not go British. <laughs> and we'll start going up and 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 up. Sans voice. Ah, oh, I don't even remember half the voices I did for Underdale. Uh, I remember Papyrus because it was just like a very screamy Skeletor. I think Sans was like a shitty Patrick Warburton, right? Was I kind of just doing the like, hey, hey, Sans, how you going? That's ah, a skeleton of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, don't remember the voices. I don't like. Flowey was pretty high pitched, I remember. He was talking like this or something like that. I don't remember exactly. I see. I know. Ah, 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 it's important. You gotta know how to like how to do their dumb like laughs, you know. But it's like a fine line between Patrick Warburton's ah ah ah, and then you know like Tim Burton's ah ah ah. Like it's like, oh, that's actually more Vincent Price, isn't it? No, he, he does the... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Enough me doing dumb voices. Well, doing dumb voices and not reading them. Why are you guys getting on me about me and my lemon tea? It's good. It helps the throat. It's like, you know, coats it. It's to just help, you know, be able to talk properly. To eloquently speak in voices and do accents and such. Uh, yes, and such, and such, and such, uh, of course. But I know for a fact, if Donovan shows up before, like, any of the higher pitch character voices, I am fucked, because Donovan's voice will destroy my throat once again. Because dude's just fucking J. Jonah Jameson. Fucking J. Jonah Jameson. Give Jillian a job. <laughs> Gillian, 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 Gillian. Is it Gillian or J It's Gillian, right? It's Gillian. It's Gillian. All right. One more drink and we're good. I'm not a big tea guy. I'm like, I like, I like two kinds of tea. I like normal, is it black tea? I don't know what it is. It's, it's just tea to me. It comes in a tea bag. It's, it's Barry's. I get it from Ireland. It's great. It's the best tea. Lions can go suck it. Barry's best tea. Yeah, Barry's best tea. Or is it Lions best tea? No, it's Barry's, Barry's best tea. Uh, like milk and tea. Milky tea, that's the best tea. And then, like, the lemon tea is so... I don't even... It's okay, I wouldn't drink it all the time. I only drink it for the throat thing. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ugh. Peach tea. <laughs> I can't... I can't read the words peach tea without thinking about fucking Batman vs. Superman. Grandma's peach tea. Peach tea. Grandma's sweet peach tea. All right. 
Let's get this started. Don't avoid dare. I mean, I guess, yeah. You don't want to be flammy. Although sometimes you want to be flammy because you might want to do like a voice where you need a lot of phlegm to really sell it. You know, you need to get a lot of phlegm going in the back of your throat. I don't have a lot, so I can't do it right now. But sometimes you do need to have that like, to sound like you're just fucking dying, basically. Uh, all right, let's get this started. So we'll go here. Uh, you know what? I can I can leave. No, the, I don't want the big cup on this because it's too distracting. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm, I'm I live to serve. All right. So Steam, I do not want you updating any. Okay, that's not that's set for fucking ages from now. Let's fucking launch up Valhalla. Or V A one one H A L L A Cyberpunk Bartender Action. All right, let's go into the world of Valhalla. And I need to reposition this. Oh, yep. Uh, wait, no, this isn't gonna. I need. I need this to be minimized. And I can put this here because I don't need to see. Well, yeah, I don't need to see that. I don't need to see this. But I need to see that so I can see you guys talking. So I need to put you here. And I need to put this, I need to turn off my music, because otherwise we're getting double music. You know, it's, it's good music, but it's not like double good. Sergeant Wheat, Slight Wheat, much appreciated for the bits. I'm sorry I took away the cup, but it'll be there when I go back to that screen. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself in the drinks, but you know, you needed to, to get started. All right. I don't remember where we left off. I really don't. Um. Let's see. It's the fourth day. Yep. 800 has been charged to your account to renew your membership to Shining Finger. Jill's subscription got renewed. She'll have no problems focusing at work today. Happy n n birthday. The cash today. Really like that website, huh? Wait, he's like, you really like that website, huh? I don't... Did they ever explain why the cat can talk? I guess the dogs can talk too. It's like cybernetic implants. That's why they're in the bar. That makes sense. And Jill, this is this is the hard part. This is me remembering what the character sounded like because I only remember J. Jonah Jameson. So I'm pretty sure Jill was just kind of like a tired, kind of like, ah, I, I have needs like that. Like kind of like slowly down here. All right. Uh, I guess I read all the, oh, I didn't read this. All right. The augmented eye. You wouldn't believe this shocking Kiramiki secret. Today, we'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our times. How did she get started? What's her favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview only on the Augmented Eye content blocked in your region. Fuck. Fuck. All right, Alice Rabbit might be Kira. Alice Rabbit might be a Kira Miki fan, and who isn't? Everyone loves Kira Miki, and Alice Rabbit is no reception. exception, not reception. You might be wondering, what's my proof for this? Not so wacky theory. Hey, Tobin! 28 months, much appreciated. Thank you very much. We continued support of the Dead Bones experience. <clears throat> Everyone was proof this is not so wacky. Uh, we keep reading. If you want to know, attack patterns. This is an easy one. I'm getting tired of your sh shit, Miss Smithy. And crime rate up 5% this month. By Kimberly Lavalette. Crimes of five percent this month officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle, poverty, and lack of opportunities are no longer the main cause of crime. Criminals will, from all walks of life, they will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact that it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. There are entire sectors controlled by these dangerous gangs, and there's no solution in sight. This Mega Christmas will be a very dark one. I love Mega Christmas. It's like my favorite. It could be wor it could be worse. God forbid things get out under get under control here. It's hard to read these stuff. Uh I guess I read these last time before I left, so I don't need to read these again. If you wanna read this, you want me to go back and read those, go back and watch the thing. The thing where I, uh, 
where I read it last week. Did I read this last week? Ooh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I can feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me, and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd of my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. This isn't her voice. This is, I just... Why would she read it in her voice? That's, that's weird, right? That's weird. I mean, I guess you do it in your head, but I'm reading it out loud for you guys, so... Uh, that's it. I'm excited to announce we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to sit up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This is by far our biggest show, and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Miki. Huh. So she'll actually come again. That's nice. That's nice. Dome concert. Hi, everyone. How are you ready for the dome concert? I sure am. I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year, and even then, I can't help but get excited every time I have one around the corner. It's all thanks to all you, thanks to you guys and your love and energy surrounding me in every aspect of my life. I'm going to perform all your favorite songs, so please be excited. Just one little request. Don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bar. Oh, I read this before. I remember reading that. I remember reading that. Okay. Uh, we got a bunch of cash. We got a bunch of cash. Can I get a view game system? I should really get a mega Christmas tree. Mega Christmas is around the corner. And, you know, you need mega Christmas trees. But that's expensive. How much is the PC at? Uh, that's a lot. Mm, I'll see how much I make it this at, at work. We'll see how much I make at work and then I'll buy the video game system. Let's go to work and have a drink. Friday, December 16th. All right, let's get into character. <sighs> Depressed, not kind of, but yeah, like mellow. Mellow, down here, kind of low, okay. Pensive Owl, much appreciated. Thank you for the bits. I love it. Thank you. Mm. Much appreciated. Good evening. Ah, oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> was he like. Hello. He was kind of like, yeah, hello. Hello. <gasps> Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? Wait. <laughs> that's her. Right. Purple, blue. I like that they're color-coded. That'll help. Uh, see? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know. It's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. Fuck. It's just throwing, like, you're you're so far in this game that you have to do a lot of dumb fucking voices. Remember the voices. Watch was Donna's voice. I don't think I landed on a good one for her, so I'm just gonna go with, like, what if it's a firecracker? I'm just gonna be kind of excited, like up here. That's fine. Ah, 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 boss, boss, boss. Firecrackers. A couple years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit-chat about meaningless things. At least, not amongst yourselves. Right, we shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey! Yeah, jukebox time! Alright. Drink, make some fucking music. So I haven't actually gotten a chance to listen to the full soundtrack yet, which is good, because it means when I unlock new songs, I'll be more excited. So, but I do know that... Uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know I, op I opened the stream with it. Your love is a drug is my fucking anthem. That's so good. I love it. Alright, we'll do this. Yep. Neon District. Dusk. Catch me in dream. Uh, out of orbit. Say it never sleeps. Heart of the city, and then base of the titans and follow the trail. Actually, don't don't do follow the trail. Do uh, do tents. All right, all right. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh shit! A new guy. Oh, he looks like George from Seinfeld. Can I do George? Shit. I don't know if I can do George. George Costanza. George Costanza. George C George Costanza. I'm George Costanza. Listen, Jerry. Okay, that's I'm gonna go with this. This is fine. 
I'm gonna just do this. This is fine. I'm okay with this. Uh, hello. I'm looking for some information. Um, what kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? <sighs> Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although, tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Do you know anything about her? Uh, no, sorry. I have $80 here! That might refresh your memory! Now that you mention it, uh, I remember something. Really? Yeah, uh, now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you were talking about. Nothing at all. Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. <sighs> well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, I... Uh... And, and second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well, uh... Moreover... <laughs> moreover... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not even enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I, uh... Wait, of course. You want all the deals to be clean, so you need me to spend the money at the bar. <sighs> That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. Maybe... maybe not. Okay, then. Get me a drink, but keep it under $80. <sighs> Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. All right, let's make a drink. Mm. All right, uh, is, there's no way to sort by price, is there? 150, 150, 160, okay. Uh, 250, I don't think there's a lot of cheap drinks. Yeah, drinks are really pricey. Okay, 80 bucks for that. I can give him a gut punch. I don't think there's anything cheaper than a gut punch. That's like all my drinks. How much is this? All right, it's gonna be a gut punch. Now let's see if I remember how to do this. Can I count? Uh, no I can't. All right, and this guy doesn't get a lot of alcohol. Oh shit, right. Right, aged and mixed. Uh, wait, okay, yeah, mixed, blended is the long one, mixed is the, uh, Okay, yep. Cool. Here. Did I hit that button? I don't know if I did. Take two. Oh my god, much appreciated for the bits, Wonder Falcon! Can you have a drink on fire? Uh... No? I mean... You can pretend it's on fire. I could... I can't. If I had the power to, I'd put fire on my drink, but... I could get, like, Zambuka and, or some shit and, like, light it on fire. But that would be a terrible idea, because I know I would set that fucking green screen on fire, and then the whole place would burn down, and it would just be a disaster. All for a hundred bits, like... Yeah. <laughs> Not happening. Much appreciated, though. Thanks very much. Welcome, everybody that's just joining us for Valhalla. Uh, we're here with George Costanza, and Jill is uh, just after serving him a drink that costs all the money that he has. So... Here. Okay, then. Do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said... Maybe, maybe not. Turns out, it's maybe not. You were the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And I, like I said, $80 is nothing. So, what you're saying is, I need to spend more. I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why? The order's right, isn't it? I... I mean, I guess... So, why are you looking for that girl, mister?
Vandelay. Art Van. Art Vandelay. Why are these all references I fucking get? Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Oh. Vandelay. Uh, Art Vandelay. <laughs> I'm a private detective. It's uh, it's what I do. <laughs> oh, it's the fucking fake name George always give. Send it to Art Vandalay Industries. Art Vandalay. I'm an architect. Why couldn't I be an architect? Art Vandalay could be an architect. I need to have a drink for that. Mm. Holy shit. I'm sorry, that just... I really enjoyed that. This is why this game is amazing. So, uh, so, I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not? She's half of the so-called Reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them, find them, and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenage inter teenagers' internet nicknames. So, who wanted you to track her down? Or track her? I don't know. I got the letter with instructions and a paycheck. Uh, what if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with the check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with the local goings on. Well, uh, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, I can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe, but not much about current events. At least not beyond that you see on the news. Damn it! What kind of bar is this you can't get out of the world on the street? What kind of film noir world do you live in? Gil might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? I... I don't. I certainly don't. And I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of my time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. Uh, what can I get you? Give me a grizzly temple. Simple, simple enough. See, now I want him to come in with another character that looks like fucking Jerry Seinfeld, and I want them to have a conversation with each other that is basically an episode of Seinfeld. That's what I want. That's all I want. Alright, let's give him a Grizzly Temple. <laughs> grizzly Temple. Un, du, toi. Un, du, toi. Un, du, toi. Eh. And. Not Asian, let's just do this. Serve. Bang. Serve to drink. Here. Okay then. This is gonna be deducted. This is gonna be deducted from the 80 from earlier, right? No. Fine. Come on, that has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard about is about this girl who threw herself on the roof of a nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her mid mare makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it! Wait, who told you that? Uh, it appeared on the news, didn't it? 
Yeah, but the name The Harbingers wasn't used. No Glitch City Outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet, for some reason. So you're either one of them, or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow, he can be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, uh, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that Idol signed. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Guess not. Did he talk about anything, uh, interesting? Yeah, interviewing the Idol that had a show a couple days ago. Dealing with messy interns. Part of the course, I guess. I see, I see. That's... Gunshot! 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 I don't know how to... I don't know how to make him scream. I'm sorry. It's a backfire. Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? Sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close! It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. Nah, you can clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took that conflict here. Which means... GUNSHOTS! If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, uh, I gotta go. Uh, seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really. I just have different needs, but... There will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please, come again. Characters left the screen, it's time to drink. Gangs, then? Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. They've always been a neutral and important third party in the gang in the other gang's deals. Then who are the what now? Hmm. I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. He left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? Oh my god! Much bits. Thank you very much. Much appreciated, Rebecca. Hmm. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it, though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Welcome. Streaming Chan! Oh boy, what the fuck? Okay. Anime was a mistake. Yep. Anime was a mistake. Anyone going to the Kiramiki concert? Too much clothing. Yep. What's happening? What's happening? Streaming Chan giving. Okay. So, I'm just gonna put this in my head together. This is a character that's live streaming her life. So, yeah. Yeah, why does she have the chromatic, the whatever that fuck thing is called, the weird two other eye color thing? Is one of them like her thing? Hmm. Oh, it's Diva. It is actually, yeah, no, it's, it's good like Diva. I just love these little, little words. It's good. Hello, fellow youngsters. <laughs> Did I miss bath time? Hey, kids, want to die? <laughs> I can just read these. I can just read these. Marry me, streaming Chan. Deck of hole, 24 months in a row. Much appreciated. How do I do that? Hmm. Yeah, contact lens, which is like the, the camera. Probably something to do with the necklace, too. I don't know. Hello. I just love hello, fellow youngsters. All right. What the fuck does streaming Chan sound like? Two new characters in a row. Fucking hell. 
What does streaming chant sound like? I have to be careful because I could end up doing a parody of some actual streamer or YouTuber by accident. And then that could reflect poorly on me. Ha. Huh. Okay. I really wish there was a way for me to put you guys into this so that your chat was flashing across the screen here instead of this. Because that would be amazing. Anime was a mistake. <sighs> okay, so maybe like... I'm Streaming Chan, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24-7! Bathroom time and naughty moments only available to premium users. It's only 99 cents $99, $99 a month premium. Go premium now! Um... It's Friday night and you know what that means! It's time for streaming chance escapades! Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe .moe Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069 Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code! Exchange the code for a free trial of a VR experience modeled after yours truly! Excuse? Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny! Where is he? Right in front of you. Huh. Hey you! The pretty boy over there! Where's the bartender? You're looking at... <clears throat> You're looking at them. <laughs> no way! No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy skinny head girl jingling around jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two dressed like fucking waiters are the bartenders here? Yep. Seems that way. Hmm. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah, just take your top off. No. No. No, no, no. No. No for me, no for Jill, no for the me inside Jill's head, no for everybody. No. No. Wait. No, wait. Wait. There, that's how you guys would see it, because it's like, yeah, like that. Yeah. You might need to take off your bra, too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? <sighs> is that piercing glare a no? Come on, one of us is going to have to take their top off, and it ain't going to be me. I already did that once today. And it's too late to go somewhere else! By the time I even find an even nastier part, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? <sighs> somebody... Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need a binary... I need... Bi I need binary yes-no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. Fruit flies! They wanted to use their brains, you think they'd watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I think I know! Wait, I know! Give me a drink, a big one, the nastiest one you can think of! Um, hello! Service here, please! Wow, it's, it's like my brain shut down. 
sure. All right, we're gonna have a drink. Jesus, this character, this game. All right, what does she want? The nastiest manly and promo drinks are off, both nasty. Okay, let me see some promo, manly promo drinks. Manly, strong, manly, strong. Sour, promo, strong. Is there no, no promo, manly? Oh, manly and promo drinks are both nasty. What's the nastiest, what's the nastiest drink I can give her? I wanna give her a big nasty. Hmm. I also want to charge her, uh, like, a lot. What's the most expensive drink I can give her that's, like, a manly drink? So you have Gut Punch, Mars Blast, 250 for a Mercury Blast, Moon Blast, Piano Man, Piano Woman, Pile Driver. I'll give her a... How do you... <laughs> I'll give her a Pile Driver. So we got three Bronsons, three Flanagrid. I don't even know how to say these words. And uh, four Caramatrine. Is that right? Three, three, and four. Mixed. No ages, no ices. Good. Have a pu- There's no premium service. You can't get an adult VR experience with this. Shut up. <laughs> this is the worst character. <laughs> you guys are the worst. And so is her chat. Actually, her chat looks a little worse than mine. Honestly. Here. All right then! Cheers! I don't think you should chug it so... Chug it down so... Uh, quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is this what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yep. Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? Uh, if you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? Um, what do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Uh, let's see then. Um, last weekend we held a party for the Safar Toy Company. And it's a company run completely by dogs. Really? Uh, yeah, this place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, wait, wait. Corgis? <gasps> Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Uh, tuxedo clad talking corgis, yeah. Wow! Awesome! Wait. You're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you. Trust me. What else? What else? Um, let's see. Uh, Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented I was here for three nights in a row. That perfume chauvinistic bastard? Huh? There's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented I interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Uh, what did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plan, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small meat girl with glasses. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait! Can I see that glass over there? Um, sure. <gasps> the signature. This, this is Kira Miki's autograph! Yeah, she came here before her last concert. Get out! Really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar from the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's on stage? I've tried to get into a meeting with her and she's actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. Uh, very nice girl, actually. Seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. Whoa, why'd you just minimize? 
I knew it! I knew she was nice! Her passion shows at her concerts, you know! She's so... spontaneous! Her performances are never the same! Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high-performance computer! Shine Spark! I find myself singing in the shower all the time! And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at 99 dollars a month! Go premium now! That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that would make it perfect is if Pretty Boy over there had a past with a KGB. Huto! Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> um, are you, are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the whole thing, whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Give me a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. <laughs> come, coming, coming right up. All right, serving a drink, making making monies. Mm. I'm gonna give her a big bad touch. Oh, I'm gonna give you a big bad touch. Oh, look at the big bad touch coming your way, little lady. This is a big old bad touch. Who the fuck would name a drink a bad touch? Uh, on the rocks and mixed. There you go. Uh, here. I was expecting something mm, dirtier. Uh, we have olive brine. I, I can pour in a bit if you, that's what you want. No, not that. What? What'd I do? Oh, the song? <laughs> yeah, it's a good song. All of them are good songs. With such a dirty name, it feels like the drink ought to come with a phallic come in a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. This character. That would have skyrocketed the watches at least threefold. Don't you have anything like that? Nope. <sighs> you have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Holy shit. This is the future. This is the reality we're living in. Friendly reminder brought to you. Friendly reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe, leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy your premium membership for a neat code. Said code will net you a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on moi. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made an NND model of me. When Shining Fingered asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year of free premium membership and a VR set. That's nice. Wait, uh, what's an NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. I asked for a reason. It's, well, um, well, it's, it's music, it's music videos with 3D models. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. <laughs> I see. To be honest, though, the model is a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it, though, considering the use it gets. <clears throat> you know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. Bullshit. 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 But they're still there, you know. Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corners of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Also bullshit. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're all wonderful. 
being here doesn't make them any less real. Uh, I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So, tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened. Sorta. Oh, come on! No epiphany, quarter-life crisis, not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? <clears throat> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone. And that's a problem. One of a third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. This is too real. This is too real. It's only a bone here. There must be a nice, mystical story you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well... Yes? Also this music. Uh, sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. She was a DR, a DRK uh, Dash Sol. Um, a really old little model. Uh, apparently his power supply was running low. His charge was destroyed. He didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. He was from the time when the collective source wasn't a cloud storage system. So he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going! And it was weird, you know? He was the only Lulum I've seen with a clear-cut fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip and his fell out fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, If you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um Bravo, bravo! Touching, full of feeling completely awesome! I'd pay to see a movie like that! So, what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carried it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now that I think about it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch your own movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. I see, that would actually be really useful. Oh god, great morality, thank you for the bits! Much appreciated. Mm. Okay, this is getting really stale. I'm gonna heat this up even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here, Miss Bartender. Get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. Uh, okay. No matter what, she's asking me to get her drunk, no matter what. That's an interesting request. Love it. See, that's the thing. If we do get to the point, like, we have Periscope now. That's kind of similar to, like, this kind of system. Once we get that into, like, a contact lens kind of thing, or, like, better Google Glass, and people just actually start live streaming all the time, the world is going to go to shit. It's going to go to shit. So fast. So fast. All right. How can I get her drunk? What's the best thing to get her drunk? Uh, something like, I guess, is it something that has a lot of ingredients, I guess. Yeah, you want, you know, that's what I want. I want strong drinks. Uh, strong, wait. I can't look for strong? Oh. All right, well, let me just look for something that's strong. So, strong, strong, strong. Strong. Piano man. I don't want to do another piano man. Mars Blast. All right, let's do that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, come on, I can't, why can't I click on it? Why can't I click on it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Oh, because there's a limit on how much you can put in a drink. I see. I see. All right. I'll just do a base one then. I was trying to give her a big one to make her really fucking drunk. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. I figured it out. Uh, have a Mars Blast. Because that's fine. I got it. I got it. Anything over in Teddy Greens is already a big drink. Lodge it in the brain. I just wanted to give her a big drink. So? Nope. A bit hot, but not lightheaded. Then again, I'm always hot. Hot-headed? Your drinks are either too light or I'm more resilient to alcohol than I thought. Okay, let's try this from a different angle. You ask the questions. Uh, what kind of questions? I don't know. I'm not the bartender. Do your bartenderish thing. What made you decide to start streaming yourself 24-7? what I'm talking about. You're the bartender here, bartender. Anyway, have you ever done something reckless or stupid because of peer pressure? I think that's something everyone has gone through. Oh, only Carmetry is alcoholic. Oh, I see. I see. I understand. So this is the this is basically just alcohol. Carmetry is basically this means alcohol, and these are all like flavor shit. Got it. All right, large in the old noodle. Well, it used to be that I very rarely succumbed to such problems. I was the type to never take risks or try new things. Every time I did, I was scolded rather than praised. What point is there in doing stuff that nobody's acknowledging you did well? But some time ago, I stumbled upon a friend who would stream herself talking. Nothing risque or noteworthy. She invited me on and, well, the comments were intoxicating. The internet is a big place. Some I found within all those comments people that acknowledged me. They encouraged me even. She loves us. She really loves us. After that stream, I tried doing some myself. I turned on the camera, put on something cutesy, and started dancing to Kira Miki. At first, I pretended the camera wasn't there, but as soon as I saw the comments, something snapped within me. Lewd comments, praise is the usual random stuff. After seeing so many people interested in me, I started moving a lot more. No more shyness for me. After that, I started doing more. I sang, I cooked, I drew things, I even did a strip tease at some point. Whenever I was streaming, I stopped being shy. So, at some point, I said, Hey, this is the way I want to live all my life. And thus, Streaming Chan was born. Uh, is it difficult to keep that up? Not really. It's not like I'm acting or anything. I'm just being myself. I need to mind camera angles and that kind of stuff. Sometimes, but nothing major. And when I do need to mind that, for only 9999 9, $9, $9, $9 a month, you can find out. Go Premium Go! Hey, you're good at this bartending stuff. Look at all these things you've made me say. Well... Like, seriously, what's your secret? How do you get people to talk? I never do that much, actually. Well... This is a bar, after all. And one of the reasons people come to a bar is because they sometimes want to get things off their chests. So it's not a conscious trick you could teach in, like, a ten-minute tutorial? Nope. You just need to be in the right place at the right time. Some professions make you that personal stranger others feel comfortable telling their secrets to. Of course, discretion helps, too. Discretion, not discretion. Discretion? <sighs> Hey now! Hey, now that you mention it, I do blab a lot to my hairdresser. Pretty interesting stuff. Well, no wild night tonight, but it did get interesting though enough. 
Anyway, I should go, but before I leave, what's your name, Miss Bartender? I'm... Lana Smithy. All right, Miss Smithy, thank you for a lovely night. But you stay here because the night is still young and there's a lot to do. Wow, the floor is moving. Quite the lively girl, hey. People like... <laughs> people like her physically hurt me with their presence. You think she'll come back? My mom always says, you never know what the angels are saying. You never know when the angels are saying amen. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> it means shut your mouth or you'll jinx it. Why didn't you give me a name? Would you like to reveal your name to someone like her? Good point. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. All right. Hey. Do I need to take a break? I forgot to put break in on the drink rules, but let's see. I don't need to take a break. I've only been here an hour. All right, save that. Let's continue. Man, just two new characters right off the fucking bat. Okay. Oh, right. Home thing. It's now safe to keep playing. I think I've met most of these characters. Or at least, maybe not her, but her definitely and her definitely. I think. I think. Ah, <sighs> the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Jukebox time! Alright. Alright. Let's go... Hmm. Yeah, I like it. So we're doing jukebox. We really get to drink. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Uh, we'll have some Umemoto. I need to get more songs. March of the White Knights is fun. Neo Avatar is fun. Uh, Loves a Drug needs to be on there because if it's not, I'll go crazy. Uh, Metropolis. Mm, we had Catch Me Dream before. Uh, out of Orbit. Showtime. Alternate Reality. And... Who was I? All right. Bang. Uh, all done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, uh, for a given value, fresh anyway. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. I need to see the characters before I can give them a voice, so just, I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy-duty tool. You're a heavy-duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that... Damn it! Wait, welcome back. Who's this? I don't recognize this, this thing. All right, whatever. I'll know in a second. Oh, welcome back. Oh, what the fuck? Who the fuck are you two? Creepy robot dude and... Lady? Betty? Weird. Weird. Fucking Adam's family kids. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Wait, no, she needs to be posher. Hey, bartender. What did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounded like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Not you two. Eh? Do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I, I say it's backfire. It's a gunshot! Firecrackers! Wendy Adams, huh? <sighs> See, these so sounds have been going on all night here and we can't figure out what they are. Wendy Adams. So Wendy Adams is just kind of like, I'm just kind of sad. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um... Who is he? Gillian. Jillian. 
Jill, yeah, Jillian. Jillian, nice to meet you. I don't know, you have more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and... <clears throat> I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, uh, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell. I'll have a beer too. I'll have a beer too. I don't know what this guy fucking sounds like. Two beers coming right up. Get him two beers. So fucking weird that I make beer. Drink. <sighs> mm. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna go kind of mm, robot. Mm, let's talk kind of like a robot, like a posh robot. Yeah. C three. Oh, fuck it. Let's just go C three PO. Fuck it. You can be C three PO. Deal. Man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill? That's a nice name. How's business lately? Uh, as usual, these two are really close voice-wise. <laughs> Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not that the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the char change of pace, huh? You have no idea. So, uh, what brings you here today? Actually, yeah, two drinks for two drinks. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point, robot. So, uh, what brings you here today? I suggested coming here after work. Let's go with that. That's kind of robotic, but actually kind of British, too. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's Friday. A drink to kick off the weekend. It's one of those little things that makes life worthwhile. But he did only suggest it after I found him hugging a stuffed corgi in his office. A uh, stuffed corgi? A plushie, not an overfed dog. I see. Wait, you have an office? Yeah, what's weird about that? What's weird about that? I thought you'd have a cubicle or a kennel. A kennel? I mean, you don't hear much about office boys getting their own offices. It's not hard, considering the rest of the staff doesn't use cha don't use chairs or tables. Even I have my own office. I don't know about that. The mess they left in the bathroom usually requires someone with thumbs. Chairs and tables seem like lesser evils. And you're the veterinarian, after all. A kennel? A kennel? What about a kennel? I don't know. I just thought it'd be cute if one day if I went to work and they had one waiting for me. Like they saw me as one of them. <sighs> so, uh, where did you get that plushie? Oh, I gave it to him. It was my gift last Mega Christmas. Wait, so he got defensive over being caught hugging a gift you gave him? That's the funniest part. He acted like I didn't know he had it. I was just glad he was enjoying it, you know? Why are you two talking about me like I'm not here? Because you're not giving any input anyway. So, how's stuff up at Dogland? So, how's stuff up at Doglandia? Well, recently we struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start doggy cuts, to start a dogging, dogging, doggy, not a dogging, to start a doggy, doggy, dog. I can't say not say dogging. Well, recently we struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. I'm day, I'm deal. I'm your friendly neighborhood salesman. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh, yeah, that one. 
We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Oh. Anyway, uh, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the higher ups some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they were approved. Uh, you guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis, then. Gotta get him two Brantinis. Double drink. It's a problem. It's like when I'm, I was thinking, like, okay, he's kind of like making kind of British, and when I say doggy in Brit with a British accent, it's like dogging, doggy. I like a. Do I have a little doggy, little dogging, 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 mm. doggy. A dogging clothing line would be terrible, by the way. Brantini. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Un, deux, trois. Aged. Sir. Here you go. You have such a wimpy taste in a drink steal. Not all of us spend their weekends in college partying. Not all of us spent their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You miss nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes. Laura? What about her? She's cute, but she could take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliché that I can't help but cringe when I'm looking at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliché. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. K kick? I didn't... Betty, I, I didn't think I'd have to say this twice to you in the same month, but... You shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why do you think I... Why do you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before! Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine. Guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I, I just, I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential and I'm not gonna let her waste it. <sighs> Jill, I'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof. All right. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just a veterinarian. The dog's the one that organized a meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight. And at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants, depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hearing. Nice hearing. That's a weird... Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby you made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. Uh, I did! What did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a neutral polite. Not, not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was... Interesting. You seemed 
interested in what I said. Like you'd like to see that scenario. You're just thinking too much. What do you think about Gil then? Jill then. Jill. Hmm. Hmm. He's either a total simpleton, simpleton or acts that way, uh, acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have. You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste drinks. Tasting your drinks. You'll thank me later, trust me. Then... Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well... You shut up. Alright. Two drinks. Let's do this. Hmm. Alright. Uh... Two strong manly drinks. Uh... Ooh, a crevice spike. Wait, does that mean I have to do a strong manly drink? I don't know if there are, are there strong manly drinks? I get a scut punch. Mars blast. Okay, so I give like a Mars blast to Mars blast because I want to I want to get the most money I can. Uh, but uh, and mix. Serve. Here. Now drink. Mm. Mm. Oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Jill. Has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? Hmm? You know, make you think you're just... Make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank. Jill. First year of high school, uh... The guy I had my eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I got to the meeting place, and what do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, rather that I saw it coming. I knew the guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. They confirm my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Anyway, uh, why, why the question? Hey, hey, piece of scrap. Yeah. These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight up, straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vera, she probably put a cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding! I see... What? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most! The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina! Which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, cute as a button. Oh yeah! She came to the office party, right? 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 That's the one. Well, it's getting late. We should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. 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 Bye. Two people left, two drinks. Love it.
fucking deal. Bye. Please come again. Back! Those damn cats moving in the internet. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh yeah, get Jill. Some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late. Whatever that means. Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. Uh, if I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. Uh, it's the French girl. All right. Let's get back into the way of talking. The Widowmaker. Widowmaker. Hello, Jill. Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella. You're here for another drink today? Not really. I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. And thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Really? I don't know what to say. Thanks. Well, it's nothing really. <clears throat> this just in. Hmm? The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. I don't know why I was doing that guy with a microphone, because I had a newscaster. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank. Oh, God, say. I wonder if she'll be all right. Ah, hello, Jamie. Oh, hello, Jamie. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> good, e good evening, Jill. Good evening, Jill. <clears throat> oh yeah, lady went away. That means a drink. <laughs> mm. When your own rules start to fuck you over. Um, good evening, Jill. You see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? Uh, yeah, the news flash just ended. Uh, sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Uh, Jill stormed off a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. Uh, what can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Give me a Mars Blast. This guy's voice is hard. I can't pinpoint something good for him. Alright, make a drink. Give me a Mars Blast. Give me a Mars Blast. Give me a Mars Blast. <clears throat> Give me a Mars Blast. Give me a Mars Blast. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh, Mars Blast. Yep. I'm sorry I'm not able to pay so much attention to you guys in chat. Uh, it's just what happens when I'm reading and also doing this fixing thing. It's I'm, I'm, I have to read, so I'm only like glancing, so I'm not like super... I'm not super active in talking to you guys, which is, uh, you know... A little disappointing, I'm sure, but it's for the greater good. Oh, yeah! This music's so fucking good. I love it. Alright. I mean, he does. He's, uh, he's supposed to be fucking. What's his name? Right? He's supposed to be a guy from Human Revolution. He's got the arm, he's got the eye thing. Uh, one Mars Blast. Because, like, if I think the guy from. Deus Ex, Jensen. He's just he just talks down here like this. I'm Adam Jensen. Look at me. I do things. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do that now. I'm happy with that. Mars Blast? Oh, no. Yeah, Mars Blast have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? And again, the whole Red Planet thing is still its nickname. So, uh, how have you been doing? I was working a contract, actually. With the targets inside the Apollo Trust Bank. I figured I'd simply leave them alone for now. And then you came for a drink. Yeah. 
part of me wants to ask who your target is, but I'm guessing it's a secret. I can't tell you... I can tell you that it appears to be part of some sort of power struggle somewhere. Has the target ever made you a counteroffer to go after the one that sent you? They usually don't live for long enough. No, I also don't like it when a target who's seen my face manages to survive. Huh. What happened? N nothing I just suddenly thought, what if somebody sent you after me? I'd reject the contract. You would? I don't ask the name of many people, you know. I don't ask the name of many people, you know. And I always remember those who names who, those whose names I've asked. They're real in my eyes. I like to know them better, and to some extent, I care about them. I need that, because otherwise... Otherwise? Nothing. Nothing you should concern yourself with. But don't worry. Unless you suddenly find yourself caught in the middle of a power struggle. The only way I see you becoming tangled up in that kind of mess is if you find yourself too involved with gangs. Thanks for the advice, I guess. Still, the thought of people hiring others to kill somebody is... I can't wrap my head around that, and I don't want to either. The world can be a dark place, Jill. Say, do you think people in the bank will... Do you think the people in the bank will be alright? It isn't the first time a bank has been closed like that, but... Something is... Off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that this news is making unusually the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope that I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? Uh girl that was in here yesterday s said she was going to the bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but Never mind. You want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Let's get him a beer. Let's make a beer for the gentleman. Nice big manly beer for a manly guy. He didn't want a big, so let's give him a normal. Big old beer. I've, I have intentionally avoided doing southern voices because I know that there's some southern viewers in the chat that don't appreciate it when I do a southern accent because it makes you guys cringe. But I like doing it because it's fun. Personally, I enjoy it. But I'm going to keep your... Unless a character shows up that like looks like a farmer or a cowboy, I'm not going to do one intentionally. But you better understand that if they do show up, I'm going to fucking do it. All right? All right, cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> All mixed. Serve the drink. Uh, here. I once, once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist is that the brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped foster bonds and build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Oh, it's not that the voices are bad, it's just that people cringe because, like, it's the same thing as when I hear someone do a bad Irish accent. Like, someone just going, Oi, tita, 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 tita. Oh, me lucky charms. Like, it's kind of, I get it, I get it. It's just like, I don't give a shit, honestly, but I, I can see where people are coming from. <sighs> where was I? <laughs> Uh, last time you came, you mentioned something about going haywire? <laughs> Don't clip that shit, fuck you guys. Uh, what did you mean? I'm intrigued. Have you ever felt like your sanity has slipped right by you? Uh, well, a client earlier tonight was driving me nuts, but aside from that, no. Truth be told, neither have I, but I'm afraid of it happening. How so? I don't know. I just have the lingering fear that at some point I won't be myself. I'll go 
go crazy, I'll wake up a stranger to myself, and I won't care. It's just an irrational fear that lingers in me, and there's nothing I can do about it. Like the fear of cockroaches for some people. Only instead of fearing a crawling nuisance, you fear a lunacy. Something like that. Sometimes I wonder if uploading my brain would solve all those problems. Well, that technology is still a ways off. I've heard a couple of experiments regarding the technology, but it still seems too buggy. I'll have to wait until it's safe then. Until then, don't worry too much about those possibilities, unless they're tangible enough. Otherwise, you're no better than a hypochondriac. Good point. The way you said it. The way you said it makes it sound less like something you feel might happen. Something you're just afraid could happen at some point. That's pretty much it, yeah. Doesn't that make you saner? I mean, were you really on your way to becoming an unhinged maniac? I don't know if you'd think about it at all. Hm. You might have a point there. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here. Uh, always a pleasure. See you later, Jillian, for me when he comes back. Please come again. Whew. Well done. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have... I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, yeah, I, I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camo? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. Mega Christmas comes once every four years. Record it. So I took a chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. It is a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. Whoa, too real. This game's too real. This game is too real. It just got too real. It just got too real. I didn't know the character. Mm. I don't like. Mm. Mm. Nope. 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 I was fine not knowing how old she was, because now it's just like. Hey, this character that you've been identifying with a little bit, hey, guess what? She's, like, really close to you in terms of mental space and age and everything. She's just a future waifu. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So, while the nanocam what will the nanocam module change from your apartment? I got the basic plan, walls and one piece of cloth. So I picked my... I got the basic plan, walls and one piece of cloth. So, I picked my Kotatsu, too. You have a Kotatsu? You know what a Kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a Kotatsu? Not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate your place with that. Let's plan a day and grab a beer, yeah. Well, uh, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. I don't smoke anymore, but I used to. That's why this, like, there's a lot of parallels between me and Jill, which I'm kind of... It's, it's weird, it's weird, it's weird. Uh, careful out there! Yeah! Zero mistakes! Yeah! Total earnings. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Get a nice wall pattern or something. I'm the best. Do 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 do. Yeah, Jill bones totally. <laughs> All right, we got to finish work. We get to have a drink. Mm. So I'm gonna read this. You have no new notifications or reminders. Jill wants to buy a fan even though it's winter. Buying will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now use nano camo to customize your room. Click to dismiss this registration. What's a nano camo? Something to liven things up in this room. 
Okay. Zoop. And we're going to... Okay, first we're going to fuck with this, then we're going to take a break. Customized Nano Camo app about mascot. I don't know about this mascot. Camo Tan is our mascot. She's designed by a ver veteran character game designer from Sukaban Games, Kirin51. Birthday, 24th and 1st. B bust, 85. Waist, 65. Height, 90? Is that right? I think that's right. Legs, Musashi, Battleship, Tact Cool Fashion, <laughs> Peach Cake. About. Uh, Nano Camo is a company founded in 2068. Pioneer the Nano Camo fabric machine, real time texture show what we for the military use. We bring it to the process. All right, let's customize our apartment. Ooh. Ooh, look at the shinies. Wait, can I preview? I can't preview it. Man, well, I don't want to spend a bunch of cash, so let's just, okay, we'll get purple. Cause, I mean, of course. And for the table, uh, what's this look like? Okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah. 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 Hips. Well, you know, guys, I'm not. You know, I don't do measurements. But yeah. Neat. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put some music on, and I'm gonna take a quick break, and we'll be right back after a short word from nobody. Really, just listen to some music. What can I have you guys listen to? Let's listen to All Systems Go, and we'll be right back shortly. So don't go anywhere, guys. We're we'll back with more Valhalla. Just a moment.
got here just as the song ended. Cause I'm amazing. Oh, I'm really disappointed Dorothy and Donovan haven't shown up yet. Mostly because I'm prepared to do both of their voices. So, like, I need, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to be J. Jonah Jameson. I want to be an underage lowly robot girl. Sex robot girl. That's what I want to be. That's all I want to be. There was a flash of my thing for a second. And now I need to put things back up so I can see. Wait, there we go. That's what we put up. We put that up. And then we get you guys back up. And then we get back into the game. All right. Uh, whoa, we don't have a lot of money. All right, well, let's read stuff first. A white knight just beat me up. Hey, live with the beat. Live with the... God damn your name. Live... Livitherapia? 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 Thank you for the bits. Much appreciated. I can't... I can't say your name. Livitherapia. 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 I'm just gonna say it with a lisp. Livitherapia. How about that? Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys with the quotes. A white knight just beat me up. I'm fucking crying right now. Tell me... Let me tell you the story. Waiting for, <laughs> waiting for OP to deliver. I'm here anyway. Here it goes. I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to buy milk. When I'm finally out of there, a group of three white knights stopped me and started asking for my ID and also wanted to see my bag to check if I wasn't a scalper. Scalper. And once they saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military service idea. ID. And just, what the fuck? Why would I have that on me? And there's no, no enforced conscription anymore. Anymore. It doesn't make sense. Then because I don't have it, they, I mean, they asked me for it else. They planned drugs on me. Of course I refused. And their patients, one of them hit me right in the temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor. And they just look at the, my, they just took my groceries and left. Holy shit, man. I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much. I want to leave this fucking hellhole. I'm so fucking tired of this shit every fucking day. This store is closed. Jill. Uh, I've been lucky to never have that kind of problem with the White Knights, I guess. Streaming Chan Thread. Oh my god. Okay. Streaming Chan went nuts last night. Where the hell is she now? I don't even recognize the place she's at right now. Doesn't look pretty either. At least she's getting some rest. What I missed? Screaming Chan went street. Screaming Chan. That's a different stream. Streaming Chan went to Valhalla, got a bit drunk, and got the hell out of there. All hyper. She tried to steal snacks from a vending machine, but the thing def defended itself with electric shock. I'm gonna marry Streaming Chan. That's freaking nuts. You just don't mess with those things. She fell asleep from the shock, as expected from Streaming Chan. I just hope nothing happens to her while she lays there falls asleep at shoddy back, back street in Glitch City. She'll be fine. She was either really tired or the alcohol all the alcohol got to her somehow. Apollo Bank is being attacked and no one is reporting on it. Are you actually surprised? Considering the nature of their threats, it's clear that Quincy doesn't take the blame. What? Fucking coward. Do we have any sources there? I'm posing from the site. It looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Wow. So they're actually helping the protesters? Um, that's not the way to help people. What well, if this is just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I would be surprised. This fucking place, lol. Let's wait for more info. This game is too real. This game is too real! It's too real on too many fronts. It's too real on too many fronts. I don't like it. I don't like how real this game is. Alarms rise. It's the bank as the Apollo Trust Bank suffers terrorist attack. Updating. Hijack screens in downtown Casanova announced what seems to be a terrorist th threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that a currently unidentified bomber is it's already inside the building. The White Knights Counterterrorism Unit responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was then locked down by an external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTU's Chloe Bauer told AE. The bank has been sealed shut and using its own disaster prevention system. However, none of, them, none of the terminals at the bank were working at the time. The building is basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. Hope Say is alright. Uh, the Augmented Eye is being attacked. Hi, everyone. We take your security seriously here at the Augmented Eye, and we have the, uh, the obligation to disclose the recent articles on Alice Rabbit were vandalized by who we think is Alice Rabbit themselves, or a very good impersonator. We want to extend our apologies and inform that we'll be limiting our coverage of Alice Rabbit to just factual news and not entertainment pieces. Sincerely, the AE staff. Pollution. Oh, did I not read? I didn't read that. What did this say? Thank God I don't pay these fuckers for a sub. Pollution to reach historic levels next year, even though most countries in the world have adopted, adapted to their economy, economies to solve the ongoing problem of climate change, which they still relies on ancient technologies in order to keep costs low with profit high. As a result of this backward policy, it seems that we'll be experiencing huge increase of air pollution next year. Our contamination levels will force the whole population to move away from the whole areas of the city. The soil is dying at alarming pace, said experts in a report. 
Having to buy small raincoats, special raincoats, and umbrellas does suck, but experts say you better get used to it. How long until someone says pollution is good? There's a book. Alright. Do we have anything else to really do? Can I buy music? I'm gonna see if I can buy more music. I really just want more music. Uh, beer on discount. Paper lantern. She wants a fan. I'll get her the fan. She wanted a fan. I want to get her a fucking... I want to get a mega Christmas tree and I want to get her a PC, PC 9X, but I can't yet. I can't yet. She bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She was surely focused at worst. Cool. Awesome. All right, let's go to work. Let's go work. All right, peace out, Drist6. See, the first part of your name is easy because it's like Drist to Warden, but then the rest of it's like Zig6. Six, six. So, that's how I remember. Remember, it's how I said it. Drist to Warden. I'm surprised I remember his last name. Good evening. Didn't expect to see you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. <sighs> you can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get down to it. And besides, it's Dr. X6. Oh, well, I like Dritz. That's the tea. I like Dr. I like Dritz. Dritz to Warden is better. I can't see the fucking minutia. And besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has used impeding closures as a means of getting their employees to work. Seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention, I get bored out of my mind, get bored out of my brains in my apartment. So I'd rather come here anyway. What did you say? Nothing important. Jill isn't back yet. I wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. Say, what's this bottle? Oh, a client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. Oh, cool! It's some sort of rum. A hey. Rum? Nice! Want me to serve you a bit of it? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Alright, let's give the boss some rum. Go to the bottle drinks tab and drag it to the shaker before mixing. Hmm? I have to mix shit? Bro. Grandpa booze. Okay. Alright, here's rum. Here. Alright! Alright! I'm gonna enjoy this in my office. Thanks! Anytime. Okay, then. Yeah! Music time! Alright. I know there's an achievement for this, so I'm just going to do it now, because if I don't, I'm going to forget it. So I hope you guys are ready for a lot of Your Love is a Drug. Ready. I just wanted the achievement. <laughs> time to serve drink. Time to, time to serve mix and change lives. Wait, that's not how it goes. <sighs> no one here to retort. Man, it feels lonely without Gil here. Jill here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. What the fuck? It's Krang, man! Oh, shit. Alright. How do voice brain? How do voice brain? <laughs> I could do Krang, but it would be very difficult. Shredder. I don't know if I was ready to go for this. I feel like this would be harder to do. It's a bad Krang, was the best I can get. He's more like Shredder. <laughs> Shredder. Um. Hmm. How how robot-y can I go? C-3PO. Mm. Oh yeah, C-3PO. I can do C-3PO. That's actually, yeah. Good good job, Enshrouded. That's good. Good C-3PO. Master Luke. Master Luke. Master Luke. Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Good evening. 
Holy shit, that was a record-breaking jinx! Uh, welcome to Valhalla. Well, what, what can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real. I'm on it. Alright, let's give this some brain a blue fairy. Blue fairy. Let's have a drink. Yeah. Krang's a hard one to do. It's fun to do, though. It's just hard. Uh... For these, one of these, and let's get this brain drunk. Uh, aged and mixed. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Master Luke. Master Luke. Nice. Yeah, this is the thing. So, um, how are you gonna? Oh, you can grab stuff. I should, should have figured as much. You can drink stuff? And eat. I have the same system Lilum do. Can I ask you something? Um... Uh, Miss... <laughs> Taylor. Just call me Taylor. And yes, a cutie like you can ask me anything. Okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go... Okay, just Taylor. Okay, just Taylor. Nah, too easy. You are... A brain in a jar, right? I'm sure not a hologram of that, I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bona fide brain in a human brain in a jar. So... How... Why... What? Does my handsomeness make you speechless? You're not something a girl sees every day, and that's saying quite a bit in these parts. Fear not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. A speech? You're seeing one of the five great living bottle brains of the world. We are brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other humanoid creature. All our computers in our jars scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world to understand the inner workings of nature's most complex computer. I'm guessing you prepared that after being asked the same question one too many times, huh? Not out of exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Ah, uh, sure. What brings one of our world's five brains in a jar to this place, though? Oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sadly, no. Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like yours. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Ah, uh, it's Jill. Jill, that's a really cute name. Thank you. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today? What with the commotion and all? It didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna take more than a cryptic but ominous news to stop me. You're awfully energetic, did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in the jar wouldn't be so... happy. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus, I'm doing something that I'll, that will help that I'm doing something that'll help people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder. Do you want to make me happy, Jill? Depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. All right, then I'll make you happy. One beer to make Taylor happy. Let's make a beer. This game has so many weird characters, it's great. The brain is a brain, guys. It can't be male or female. It's a fucking brain. I mean, I guess it can t it can identify as whatever the fuck it wants. It's a brain in a robot jar. It's... 
You can't fuck it. So, I mean, you could, you can fuck anything, but you shouldn't fuck it. You can't take it out of the jar anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to have to think about these things. It's just, it's a brain in a jar that can talk. That's all we need to know. Here, a beer. Ah, yes. No matter what happens, beer's always good. Hey, Taylor, may I ask you something a bit... indiscreet? You can ask me anything you want. Why you had your other body... See, we're getting to, we're getting to it. Were you male or female? Hmm. That's actually quite the question. Especially considering I don't really know the answer either. You don't? I mean, I remember my name was Taylor. In fact, I remember every detail of my life. But that's the one thing that's a bit blurry. Blurry? Yeah, the team that put me in here said that it might be a bit it might be a side effect of the whole process. But my family and friends say that even in life I didn't put too much thought into questions about gender. So in the end, we're back to square one. Wait, you don't have pics of you or anything else? To be honest, I have chosen not to look too deeply into my old identity. Partly because I'm happier in this ambiguous state. But also because I have this gut feeling I'm not psychologically prepared to see what I look like. I don't know if... I feel like if I do, I might... Crumble. Damn. Just out of curiosity, in a third person scenario, how should one refer to you? By my name. I guess that makes sense. If you absolutely need to use pronouns, refer to me like you'd refer to any other house appliance. A TV or anything like that. An it. Are you okay with that? In the end, even if I can speak, I'm just an object. That's actually something I've internalized a long time ago, even with my original body. Uh, I see. If that doesn't make you comfortable, feel free to use neutral pronouns. To be honest, you can refer to me however you want. I don't really pay mind to that. But this isn't about what makes me comfortable. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. If you want to call that a downside. If you wanted to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. Why though? Living can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brains are computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavioral cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you work. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Jill. Oh, Alma. Shit! I thought the color was... Wrong character. Whatever. Oh, Alma. I'm gonna keep talking like this, because, you know, this is her voice now. It's, it's, been, it's happened. It's canon. No. Um... Just, Al just oh, Alma. Where's the courtesy one would expect from the plebeian bar staff? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? Not when you put it that way. Why, hello there, beautiful. Hmm? Whoa! I can't do the big screams. <laughs> you hurt my feelings with that, darling. S Sorry, you just don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean, I did work a summer in Lilla Maitens, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Your name was Alma, right? I'm Taylor. N nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic. Or at least have one face. Hmm. I know just what to strive for, then. Just kidding. It would make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if Jill's the bartender, then I don't have any problem with that. Awesome. I'll pay for your next drink, then. Uh, what will you have? 
I'll have I'll have a cobalt cobalt velvet. And you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You're going to have me drink alone? I don't want to drink that much. The voices are mixing together, man. It's bad. It's a bad experience, man. Okay, then. Let's make a cobalt velvet straight from Taylor to Alma. Let's make a drink and have a drink and get drunk. Mm. This game is super interesting and there's a lot of cool themes. But also too many real things. Weird. Alright, cobalt velvet. How do I make it? I make two. And then three. And then five. Wow. Just make sure. Rocks and mixed. That's a nice glass. Cobalt velvet. Cobalt velvet. Your drink? Your drink? Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been, you've been nicer to me these past minutes than at least three guys have been in the last year. Judging from the way you two talk, I'm guessing you have been a client here for a while now, right? Only for about half a year or so, if memory serves right. Really? One would think it's been longer. <sighs> it feels like it's been longer. Shut up! You love me and you know it! So, you just started coming here, and that was that. Well, the first time I came here, the other guy... Speaking of which, where's Pablo? Jillian. Archimedes! <laughs> that's a dumb bit, that's a dumb bit. Uh, dunno, uh, adventuring or something. Anyways, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Nothing unusual there. The next time I showed up, Jillian was the one serving, and... I don't know, I just feel like she gets me. There's this... Chemistry, we, we click. We click, she says. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than with many other people is kind of sad, though. It's always good to see our nice friendship. Sadly, it's getting late, and I've got to go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See ya. Bye. Please come again. That Taylor show sure was nice. A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of the five brains being studied by scientists or something. There's a summary of this in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard of them before. I can't believe I actually met one. Say, Alma, how many people are, are there in your family? Just curious. Well, aside from my mom and dad, uh, five sorry, four sisters and one brother. Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first five letters of the alphabet. So you're the eldest one? No, I'm actually the middle kid. You're the middle kid, but your name starts with A? Don't think too much about it. I never said the order reflected our ages. My sister Carlotta's the eldest one, and then there's da Dana, just before me. Then comes Eva, and at the bottom lies Bell. Ahem. Sorry. The youngest one is Bernardo. Bernardo. You've never been alone, I'm guessing. Can't complain about that, I guess. It helps that we're, ne we're, never, fi we're never five in the same house. By the time Evita and Bernie were born, Dana, Dana, da, da, fuck, Dana, Dana, that name, Dana and Carlotta had already moved. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. Do you live with them? No, but Evita and Bernie do. Not to mention that I visit them almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. It's not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. She left a kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them. Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Diana's, li Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. She wants time for herself to live her life. She didn't think about that when she married the guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy she had only known for like three months. You should take your own advice. 
Hey, I'd never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Sure, there was that one time when it almost happened, but I blame the damn stadium kiss cam. Kiss cam? I was going out with a guy my little sister introduced me to. He seems he was her friend's brother or something. We went out a couple times, and he invited me to a basketball game. The mood was nice, but then later the kiss cam focused on us, and instead of kissing me, he proposed. I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take it you rejected him in a stadium on the fucking kiss cam. We went out for like three weeks. I don't know, maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. But honest to God, I can't understand why he thought it'd be a good idea. That sounds too convoluted. Wait, that's chill. That sounds too convoluted, you know? Posing and waiting for the wedding night just for sex? Never underestimate the lengths a man is willing to go to get you in their bed. I've never seen more com- <laughs> Hey, alcoholic robot! Much appreciated for the tip, my buddy. Mm. Much appreciated, guy. I've seen more convoluted plots over the years. I'm feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Uh, want anything else? Hmm, what's that bottle? Oh yeah, it's just some rum a client gave me yesterday. A gift? What did you do? Uh, good enough service, I'm guessing. k Huh, interesting name. What does it mean? Kakik's the name of the chieftain in some native tribes. I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories where rum is involved. Get me a fringe weaver instead, will you? Alright. Yeah, let's get a fringe weaver. Alright. Bobbity 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 bobba by name F. Frothy water fringe weaver. Wow. This is just pure alcohol. That's awesome. <laughs> Aged and mixed. One fringe weaver, double drink. What kind of memories do you have with rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. All right, now's my turn to ask questions. About what? What kind of family is your family? Well, I'm an only child. My mom and dad split amicably. Uh, my mom is a violinist, so she was always away from home with the orchestra. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. What up, Burning Waterfall? I just don't expect me to say hello to everybody that comes in. I just noticed I was looking at the chat at that moment. Don't hold me to that. Huh. Didn't you get something like your mom's autistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know. I just kind of said, that's it, one day and stopped. What about cousins of the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them, whilst my mom's family lived in France to boot. So your mom's French? Yep. Can you speak French? Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, all right, video game. You fucking throwing down the gauntlet? I'll, I'll accept your fucking challenge. All right. So Jill's voice. Mon, mon er, mon er, mon er, mon er, plein d'anglais. Mon er, plein Mon er, mon er, plein d'anglais. Mon er, mon er, plein d'anglais. Fuck. Ooh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know. I can't speak French. Okay. Actually, d'anglais is like English. I don't know what the rest of it meant. I did try, though, but college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. But it should be hard-pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. <laughs> You're kind of lucky, you know. All of my mom's side of the family lives here. The chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. 
I can count in a lot of languages. Not a lot, but like five. I can count to five in a lot of languages. And by a lot, like, again, five languages, maybe tops. But yeah, the, that's the primer of my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting. I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Oh, anglais means eel? <laughs> I thought that was like English, anglais. Because like, uh, je ne parle anglais. It's like, I don't speak English, right? Je ne, pa je ne parle anglais. Je, je ne parle anglais? I think so, I don't fucking know. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Please don't ever. It sounds like something somebody would say to make bartenders sound sophisticated. See? I mean, hacker is a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want to find flaws in the security of their systems, and I do my best to try and pinpoint where it breaks. Okay, yeah, that's Anglais. Got it. Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world, they need security. I'm their woman. You've told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to retrieve info, like there's some sort of mercenary, though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. Makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Didn't you tell me you once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job. Sheesh. What made you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had a Sudoku or crossword with me. But at some point, they started feeling kind of samey. So, when I started college, I took a course on system security. It felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching net security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles, and it's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. So it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I helped make harder at that. Huh. I didn't think about it that way. I'm not getting bored of listening to your love is, I love, love is a drug, though. Like, this is amazing. I'm glad I just put this only on. This is the only song I need forever. It's the best. Kira Miki is great. It's less action-y than what movies make it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing. Nothing like that. Still, seeing my code break through something, it's an amazing feeling. Will you have anything else? Hmm. I'll have a classy drink. Any classy drink. Here goes nothing. She wants a classy drink. Make her a drink. Hmm. Counting. One, two, three, four, five. A hain, a dough, a tray. Oh, fuck. Irish is a hain, a dough, a tray. A hain, a dough, a tray. A coo, a ca, a ca. Hain, a dough, a hain, a dough. Jesus, I'm fucking useless doing Irish. Hain do a tre a kahar a set and then that goes on. I, I can't I never remember four. I never remember four. I know five is kahar or four is kahar. Whatever. Un de trois quatre cinq six that's six. Ich ni san Ich Ich ni san rock go. Ich ni san rock go. Ich ni san rock go. I think that's Japanese, I'm not sure. Uh ein zwei try actually don't know four to five in German. Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Um, is that it? I think that might be it. Mm. I don't think I know any others. Classic drinks. Hey, much appreciated. Once again, alcoholic. Mm. When am I? Debones, you know when you're gonna get your awesome shirt about how you get more ass than a toilet seat? <laughs> uh, not yet. Uh, well, hopefully, I'll get word on that soon. It's a great shirt. Can't wait for it. I'll wear it on stream. Uh, I get more ass than a toilet seat. It's a good song, too. It's a very good song. She wants a classy drink. I'll give her a classy... I'm gonna give her a bad touch. I'll give you the bad touch. I'm gonna give you a bad touch. One, two, three, four. On the rocks and mix. B 
Boom. Hmm. Here you are. Yep, just what I needed, thanks. Say, Jill, what's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Well, people have the right to not give me money. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay bills. Oh, I see. Do you have to make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. You have no idea how much I hate you right now. Well, my job pays pretty well, and I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. Maybe maintenance on my hands and new equipment, but aside from that... Oh shit, she's got robot hands! I only just noticed that! She's got, like, robo hands! I can't believe I didn't notice that until now! Oh my god! Live with the beer. Thank you for the bits. It's much appreciated. Oh, I know. If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? We could be roommates. Dunno. Move my stuff through the stairs because the elevator is broken. Having to move my liquor collection. Never mind the fact that my cat's a shut in that got very upset the one time I moved some furniture around. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. You shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know? I don't, but I've thought about it before. Now I need some air. I'm gonna take my break. Do you wanna come? Are you inviting me to the back of the bar? You should invite me to dinner first. Every minute you waste making jokes is time taken from my break. Fine, let's go. Boss, I'm taking my break. Uh, call me if anyone comes in. Sure, sure. Shay Shay. All right. Halfway through. Loving it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Gonna save. And we're gonna take you know, we're gonna take a real break too. We're just gonna take a quick uh, little breaky poo. Yeah, we'll take a quick little breaky poo. So uh, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, guys. And I will find a way to put music on while we wait. So just sit tight and yeah, stay tuned. Brrr. All right, let's keep this gravy train rolling. Music, quiet, please. Much preferred quietness now. 
Thank you for your time, music. And now, uh, let's get everything back to where it should be. So you gotta go here, you gotta go here. You gotta go here so I can see everything. I love that little solar flare every time I come back to the screen. All right, and we bring you up, and bada bing, bada boom. We're back in the game. Hi, guys. Are you guys supposed to drink with me? No, it's an, op it's an optional thing. Uh, the idea is that, you know, you can drink with me, but you don't have to. It's now safe to keep playing. Thank you for playing, Valhalla. Cold, 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 cold. Jukebox! Alright, no more Love is a Drug, even though it's probably my favorite song as of right now. Um... Just do welcome to Valhalla. Hmm, troubling news. Umemoto, you will remember me. I like Aran. I like Synth Stitch a lot. I actually like this one too. Uh, Digital Drive is good. Neon District's fantastic. I always like Coming Dream Dream. And we'll go Heart of the City and we'll end with Base of the Titans. Always a fun one. This game's actually not that, like, intense for drinks. Um, because it's just mostly me talking, and then I, I forget, I get so enraptured in talking that I forget to drink. Which shows you how good the game is, that I, I'm forgetting to drink. Okay. It sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy... <laughs> Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Uh, very respectful. Apparently he got made into some. He, apparently he got into some legal trouble. That's why he's like that. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. I have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. Really? And it's a bit complicated, though. The problem is his family's tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let them accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments in debt. Bank evicted him from his house. Oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks but refuses to take his medication. I just don't get what's up with him. I don't know how you tip on PS4 either, Valkyrie, but it's much appreciated just for the... the, the, the thought that counts, right? That's what they say at Christmas time. Oh my god, it's Dorothy! Alright guys, I think since we haven't done Dawson tonight, I feel like I can get pretty high-pitched for Dorothy. So, uh, for those of you that have never had the fortune of hearing me do a high-pitched voice, uh, I apologize in advance, uh, cause shit's gonna get weird, uncomfortable, so. Alright, uh, let's get higher and higher and- Whoa! I'm here, don't scream. Oh, -ho! will you two hang out the back of the bar? Whoa, much appreciated for the tip. Lauren. Much appreciated. Catch me off my fucking rhythm. Mm. Okay. Oh, -ho! will you two hang out the back of the bar? What kind of stuff are you doing back there? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it just be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? But I like you! Do you dislike my present so much? Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say? All right. Dorothy wants something sweet and alcohol-free. Uh, I don't know what I have that's sweet and alcohol-free. Oh, I know. Uh, wait. 
Okay, here we go. I found it. Let's make a drink. Mm. To Adelaide, to Bronson, and that's it. Uh, on the rocks and blended. Here you are. You know, this kind of treatment's not precisely good for sales. Did I catch you in a bad mood? No, no. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm a lovely. <laughs> Wait. I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Oh, was that bitter? Oh, I just, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Yep, why? Nothing, I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me, tell me! Mostly about your, um, pluckiness. And here I was thinking it's because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A fully-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says, That's hacking, right? <clears throat> No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? A... I can't see the name. Nail Robot. Nehorio Bot. Nehorio Bot. Whatever you name. I can't. Sorry, I couldn't read your name. Nehorio Bot. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh. Last time I said that I had to jam plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. <clears throat> it was a success. <laughs> okay then. Um, let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. First, I do some research on the targets, the OS servers, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I've had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on, my way, on the way. Uh -huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security prot protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I see. <clears throat> then when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is abusing a buffer to overflow. B -b buff B What happens next? What happens next? I create a backdoor in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I, I, I can't. Shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that. 
but for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you record yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions, horny little more unexploded market. I see. Oh, looks like my ride is here. Your your ride? Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is that all right to ask from him? It's okay, I've known him since preschool. It just so happened he got married to my sister. Hey Dorothy, you need a ride. Can you drop me by the third can you drop me by third street? It's so close to Elmo. <laughs> Elmo know where you live. Sure, it's on the way. Yay! I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey! Later, Jill. Take care. And thankfully they're gone. <laughs> I love Dorothy. She's adorable. What an adorable little sex robot. Mm. Mm. The street seems noisy. Oh, a uh, client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Oh, man. Oh, boy. It's the fucking Riddler. It's the fucking Riddler. Um, alright. Dorothy's the best. Dorothy's probably one of the best characters because it's just a we it's a it's such a weird thing. It's like this underage se it's an underage sex robot. It's just it's weird. It's it weird and interesting that it's in the game. All right. I wonder how good's my Nathan Lane. Uh. I'm thinking some Pumba. Pumba. Nathan Lane. I can't believe it. Such a small yet comfortable place. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of a suburban des in the midst of a suburban desert. A place where lost can corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the villain the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly a real pers persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. Uh, what will you have then? Seventeen. Uh, excuse me? I said seventeen. Seven plus teen. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, seventeen is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. Hmm. 17, the hell does that mean? Alright, this is like a fucking puzzle. So this guy is getting a sweet drink. Um, I'm gonna give him a sparkle star. Okay, so. That's three. So. If I go. Double this. That's five. Wait, six. So, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Uh, aged. I might have got that wrong. Okay, explain. The total of ingredients here add up to seventeen. Beautiful! And what brings you here, Mr... I'm Armandio! The Gilio Armandio! See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Right. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquets. The lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines in the corner. No, no, you're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. 
I wanted to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been going in the streets, though. Humans are a nasty bunch. That is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other. Well, that's to be expected from the mammal from the only mammal to kill its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh yeah? Then give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know the exact details, I just know that isn't right. If memory serves right, once a lion takes over pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something. <laughs> takes over a pride? You can't take over a pride! Pride isn't a tangible thing! You need to stop making things up, not zoologist bartender. But going back on topic, do you want no number set? Do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine? No! And Chloe is a name, not a number, you know! The group where halogens are in the periodic table? Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table! Okay then, uh, I give up. Seventeen is us. Huh? Every human has seventeen pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's twenty-three. What is? Humans have twenty-three pairs of chromosomes, not seventeen. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's all the same. Primal? Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. Okay. He wants a plum floating perfume in a... Son of a bitch. Hmm. I like Virgilio. His voice is fun. What, car what cartoon character am I basically doing? Talking like this! It's, a, it's like a higher pitched snagglepuss. Kinda. Sorta. Of. Maybe not really. I don't know. It's like I'm doing a bad Nathan Lane. So I'm, just, I'm trying to do a bad Nathan Lane, basically. Uh, here we go. Uh. Here. Ha! You didn't wait, did you? Wait. You did. Enjoy. I will! I'll drink this, um, perfume. Nathan, yeah, Nathan Lane's voice is a bit dark, deeper than Perfume. Like that. Really? I don't understand. How old is this game? I think this came out last year, Corbo? Uh, or 2014. It's like a year or two years old. 2015, not 2014. Ugh. You don't really have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender. Have you ever thought about death? How? What if we were already dead? Both of us. What? What tells you even I even existed before I entered the door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we are not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? And much appreciated. Welcome to the Bone Zone, Vinegar. Thank you very much for the subscription. Uh, oh no, I'm after I had to click to see the names. I should just leave this here so I can actually see chat alerts. Uh, there we go. What if everything up to this point is just... Mm. <clears throat> what if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in his room? I could punch you to make you feel reality. I, I don't I don't care about any of that actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such close-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. The habanera has started. It means the twilight of the gods in German, by the way. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. 
Um, what? Drink time! Hmm. Double drink time, another character showed up, technically. A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me take a look at the window. Be careful! I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a sec! What? About five gigabytes of reporting... Oh, About five gigabytes of reports proving that several white night squads have been used to cover. Illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue. And using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counter-terrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue. The crazed units after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corp CEO on the subject, but until then... Things are ugly in and outside of the Bat Bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar is quite the security system. And I'll be here to protecting you as an added bonus. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll stay the night. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I, I guess it's fine. Good. <sighs> Let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zank... the oh, fucking name. I'll have Zankanto... I'll have Zankanto on hand just in case. The metal bat with nails? There's nothing you can't bash. <laughs> Say Gil for... Hope everything's better by tomorrow. So I fucked up once because I'm an idiot. Because I'm an idiot. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. The Team Four Star guys, like, they're like... They are basically professional. They, they are professional voice actors. They've done actual voice acting work. I'm just a dumb guy that does voices. Because I'm... I like it. It's fun. It's fun to do voices because it makes you like pretend to be a different character and stuff. All right. God, I love this art. I need to see if I can find, like, just a still of this for a wallpaper. Day six, break. All right, let's start. It's now safe to keep playing. Uh. Um, not really. Paid to do voice, I mean, I do voice work for friends. I don't do, like, actual professional voice work. It's a very... See, that's... I don't count it. It's like... Doing something for friends isn't the same as just doing it. Anyway. Rise and shine! Good morning. It's 11 a.m. though. That's morning for me on the weekends and any other day. That's everything outside. Still noisy, but force has been applied to take care of most of them at least. I'd buy that for a dollar! Yeah. Uh, how so? So Bats, of course, presence playing with anyone to stop the rogue white knights. The neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and subdued most of the opposition. There's also been reports of white knights just freezing, like they were petrified somehow. You make it sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place. Well... I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. Sure, there's still some bad apples out. It's not really safe yet, but it was worse last night. There all seems to be some civilian force lynching any white knight they spot. So not only are the white knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. I wonder if Say is okay. Should we be worried about Jill? That kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's, he's safe. Dare I say, even safer wherever he is than here. I sure hope so. Uh, are we gonna work today? Nah, things are too nasty for that right now. Let's take Sunday off. Oh, all right. Say, you want me to help you get your apartment? You want me to help you get to your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Okay then, let me lock things up and we'll go. Or grab some for lunch on the way. Sounds good. Oh my god, what is this? We've reached a new screen! Oh my god, it's Metal Gear fucking solid. Snake, can you hear me, Snake? 
Snake! Snake! Ah, <laughs> oh, do I remember? I used to be able to do Otacon, like a pretty good Otacon. I don't remember how to do Otacon. <laughs> hey, hey, Snake, do you think, do you think love can bloom on the battlefield? Yeah. Oh, Metal Gear Solid. And here we are. Home sweet home. Thanks a lot. This is the first time we've gotten to see Jill like an actual picture. It, not like, I mean, not outside of actual pictures, but in get in the story. Hey, boss, you want to hang out for a bit? Hmm. Yeah, grab a beer, chill out for a bit. Mostly just thank you for helping me. Well, I don't have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. I did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. What worries me is that the beer always leads to something else. To more beer? I was gonna say to one of us going through the Spanish announcer's table. But I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me. Want one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me though, smoke if you wanna. Thanks. Say, how is the chilly... <laughs> Say, how is the chilly weather treating you? Yeah, it gets cold from time to time, but nothing the Kotatsu and Peter can't fix. I'm so proud of myself for getting that right. Alright, uh, boss. You're not very good with the cold, are you? You know it! You didn't bring your jacket here, either. Yeah, I left it at home and going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold, and I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Oh, don't mind me. I insist. I have this hoodie from some time ago, and it was too big for me. Why buy it then? It was dirt cheap. Right. Wait, where did you get this one? Dunno, some flea market ages ago. Why? Nothing, it's just like one I had many years ago. What happened to it? Too much use. It just ripped. I see. You can keep it if you want. I never use it anyway. Um, we'll see. Come to think of it, how old are you, boss? I'm eternally 17. Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus I'd have to cut out your tongue if you knew. All right. Uh, let me go change it to something more comfortable. Take your time. Who the hell are you? Say, Jill? There's a blue-eyed mass of black fur glaring in my general direction. Hmm? Oh, that's just for... He's just wary of any new visitor visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. Let warm up quick enough, though. Just give him time. He's, uh... Unusual looking. Blue eyes on a black cat. They usually have green. Yeah. Weird, huh? At first I thought they were like that because he was small, but they never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? Back at home, he had a bear. Ah, I see. What? What? Good old bo <gasps> Bosco! Drink for Bosco. Fucking respect to Bosco. For those of you that don't know, Bosco was the name of my dog as a kid. Uh, well, my family's dog. We had a dog named Bosco. That's a good... This game gets me. This game was made for me. Fucking Bosco. Good old Bosco. He kept the traders away better than any dog. I wish Bosco was a bear. That'd be great. That would have... Well, probably not. He probably would have eaten me. <laughs> right. Hmm. This picture isn't something you see every day. What? Me taking such a sappy pic? No, a framed picture on printed paper. It's so... Vintage. Who are these? That's, um... Uh, the one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Grey her sister. Huh. Is this pic recent, or...? Actually, that's one's from three to four years ago. You look exactly the same. I'm only 27. What did you expect? That's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't usually see people displaying pictures of their exes so openly. Let alone a printed and framed one. Did you two break up on good terms then? Or even hesitate a bit when you call her your ex? Uh, 
let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things. And me storming out of her house, breaking a couple things on the way out. I never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just went away. I haven't said a word since. Really? It's hard to picture you doing such a thing, and you look so happy in the pic. Why have her pick out like this, then? I just couldn't get it off my mind. Something Alma said to me. About missing having the warmth of someone else pressed against your side. Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfumes with theirs. Putting your head in their chest. Listening to their breathing as they pet your head. Dozing off knowing that they're watching you, protecting you. I don't know. I felt nostalgic and miserable. I'll just put this away. I've been meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm. What's that on the table? Looks like a nem, but... It's nothing! Nothing! No, please! Please give that to me. Lope. Alright! I saw nothing, don't worry. Uh, anyway, let's grab some beers. Guide me. Holy shit! This game keeps changing! Shine Spark out, 15th of the 11th, Kira Miki. Damn! You have lots of beer! Drink. Well, the BTC gives me discounts and a point card I can use every time I buy their alcohol. With that, beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between drinks at the bar and these? The drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in stores. And besides, the ones in the bar was more of a double IPA. This is one is more of a Pilsner. Pilsner? I can never say that right. In English, please. This one's lighter in, co in color and lighter in flavor. Hey, Valkyrie! I'm gonna drink for having the same dog name. That's good. Good shit. Bosco's a good name. If I ha if I ever got another dog, I would probably name it Bosco. You know, doesn't taste like a lighter to me. <laughs> this one made with that, uh... What was the name of the base liquid used at the bar again? Neutrogenic to... Oh, fuck me. Ooh. Great. Yeah, fucking throw this at me. Uh, nutriogenic di- Fuck. Nutriogenic dichometri- Nutri- I'm gonna have to say that the voice for a second. Nutriogenic dichometrical- Yeah. Nutriogenic dichometrical lid- Lidogenol or NDL. Uh, nutriogenic dico- di Nutriogenic dico- <laughs> Nutriogenic dichometrical luginol or NL NDL? It was a supplement or something, right? Drink for drink. It was an experiment, fl experimental fluid they found they created to replace water when Maiden Kiss polluted water supplies. The effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so Mandiel never went into mass production. But the BT still sells commission of it for use in bars. And this one is made with it? Let's see. Uh, yeah, here it is, near the end. NDL and cornstarch. Cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer, if I remember correctly. Um, they need it for packaged drinks. I see. And I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill. Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. You want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really, no. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink your beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend then, boss? Why wouldn't I? I don't know, just being my boss and all, I was never too sure. Well, 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 in any case, in case you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Besides, you and Jill, Gil, Jill, I hate that name. You, I, I see that and I think Gil because Final Fantasy. I'm going to say Gil. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent and responsible that I'm the boss in name only anyway. That's good to know. 
On a side note, it surprises me you kept that poster of me in the room. And even more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less of a joke, you know? Does it make you feel uncomfortable? I love this. This is a big button that says drink. It's the best. If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, then why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I'm still wondering why you did it, though. Aside from filling an empty spot on the wall, I didn't, don't know. I thought it was funny. I guess it's like if someone gave you... I don't know. A dildo sh A dildo-shaped trophy or something, and you had it there as a conversation starter. Although, no one comes here anyway, so it's kind of pointless. What? No steamy nights of passion? Not since uh, a year ago, I think. And I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Did someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. No, nothing of the sort. A different kind of mess. <sighs> Uncomfortable mess. Uh, not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Glad to know you have my back, though. That's what friends are for. Wait, talk about the poster and compare it to having a dildo-shaped trophy. Why are Europeans always so pale? Um, I don't know. My excuse is I am indoors a lot because of my job. So I don't see the light of day that much. So I don't get to go to the beach. <laughs> Did you just call me dildo face? That's what friends are for. Hey boss, be honest with me here. I love this. About what? Who's Gil exactly? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Who the fuck is he? Oh, yeah. That. Well, uh, I have a couple of ideas. I know for certain that Gil was in the Hong Kong riots. And he took both part in the anti-riot forces before defecting. That should give me a clue as to who he is, but... But? So far, I've only found out about one such defector, and he didn't leave Hong Kong for at least four years. I also know for certain that Gil was in England and France during that time frame. And it's always like that. When I think I have a clue as to who he is, something else comes up and that contradicts the evidence. And I drink. That guy's troublesome. A, a bit, yeah. <sighs> I wonder if Gil's alright. You worried about You worried about him? You make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. You can be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Jill. So much though. Yeah, there's three things I know about him for certain. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third, he absolutely hates bell pepper. He does? I've seen him even reject food that has been in contact with it. Man, what a baby. Uh, unless he's allergic or something. He's not. Man, what a baby. How'd you meet such a guy? He showed up in the door of the bar. He, what? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Right, levitation potion. It was a slow day and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have any money on him. I couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave the drinks for free. And after a couple, he broke down crying. He... what? Huh? I don't know what he did there, but he really, really regretting it. He was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him if he could wash himself, I'd find him a job. And I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. I tried and failed to find out anything about him, so I decided to take him at face value and judge him for what he did as an employee. And aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's been as loyal as Lowell gets. I return the favor in kind, covering for Zach from time to time, sometimes literally. What surprises me is that you took him in so easily. I could take care of myself, and I always kept an eye on him. 
Besides, after the whole that Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone that desperate so easily. I see. You made the bar more lively yourself, you know. How so? Well, with the regulars you've earned, of course. Like that, like that. <laughs> yes. Like that blonde titty hacker. I, I can't remember her name. Alma. I was gonna say Arm. I was gonna say Armitage. She's a nice girl, you know. I don't think she's young enough to be called a girl. Says the girl who's eternally 17. In any case, she's really lovely. When you hear her speak of her family, she speaks with such love, and her face just brightens up. It makes me kind of jealous that she has such a close relationship with them, to be honest. You have bad relations with your family? Not bad, but not exactly close to anyone aside from my mom, dad, and aunt. But back to Alma, I'm really hoping she finds a nice guy to settle with. I mean, she's so bent into finding one, I can't help but want her to succeed. Ah, I see. There's also that sex worker robot girl. Ah, Dorothy. She intrigues me, though. I've seen a lot of sex workers... I'm <laughs> choking on my own air. I've seen a lot of sex workers on over the years. She seems pretty... giddy. It's not that she likes her job, but rather that she takes it to a... She takes it with such childish excitement. I kind of noticed that too, but then again, Lilum can be weird. You think? Lilum operate in some really foreign logic. I mean, they don't really share a fear of mortality. Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't detained human-like emotions like fear or love, but they're... different. Like a different culture, if you must. Hmm. I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy is a DFC-72. It's social interactions model or something. Let them get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main purpose, so... I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. I'm gonna say that the Lilum is based off Lilith, the demon, in mythology, whatever the fuck. Just taking a guess right here. The name Lilum is a bit weird, though. It is? You expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilum doesn't convey the image of automatons. Just a tip bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. Bot is akin to calling them retarded, and doll is like calling them fake. Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilum? Fucking called it. As far as I know, because they all come from a bigger AI called Lilith. And Lilum are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Oh, cool. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called by your full name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julianne, and you almost tore me a new one with your glare. See? Like that. It's no big secret, but it's one of those things that feels silly when you say it out loud. This conversation is so long! Try me. Well, uh, did you ever watch Model Warrior Julianne? Not all of it, but my little sister's a big fan of the reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything from the dolls, the costumes, to the lunchboxes. It didn't help that it was one of those shows that got strapped literally everywhere. I saw a couple of episodes once, they were really nice. It was beyond nice, the show was about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons born from greed and vanity. Now the show presented Jules hating her job because it invented enemy, invited enemies and yet still found solace in trying to be the, a role model. Hell, the main character wasn't a kid. Julianne was an adult that became younger when transformed. I'd say it was a pretty ambitious kid show. Even by today's standards. Just try the fact that her enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty standards of body image. Challenging as fuck. I would totally watch that show. That sounds like a cool show. Whoa, you got excited there. And that is the problem. Back then, I was obsessed with Jules. I sang the songs, dressed like her, I could even recite full chapters. Something tells me you still can. 
that's beside the point. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but then I went to middle school. And what a surprise, tweens are jackasses. They went out of their way to tease me about the things I did back then. I don't hold it against Jules. I always hold my grudge against those fuck jobs. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry about their thighs at that age? And I worried about jerk asses singing the theme tune to the sh of the show mocking me. Anyways, every time someone calls me Julianne or Jules, I instinctively react ne negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. I never talk about it because I find the whole thing a bit too silly in retrospect. And yet, it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it, though. It's actually kind of reasonable. I sure hope so. Gotta think of it. What kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the kind of always fight with kids bigger than me. And then puberty happened, and I became the Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. By the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot I was, and went out to become who I am today. And, let, let, and the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Fair enough. So, so Jill, what kind of guy was your grandpa? He, he was rough around the edges. The kind of guy that means well, even if he says otherwise. He seemed to have a soft spot for me, though. One moment he was uh, congratulating my dad by berating him a little, and then next he was playing with me. My dad worked a lot, and my mom was always traveling, so I spent most of my childhood with him. Can I ask how he died? Out of old age. My dad says his last words were something like... Oh, that's... I hit the drink button instead of the thing button. Mm. Fucking scientists created talking mannequins, but they still can't let you upload your brain. Why the question? I'm curious about you. Really curious. I just realized that even though we see each other almost every day, I know very little about you. Oh. What you tell me, though, it seems your grandpa's personality rubbed off on you a bit. I've heard that one since I was a kid, actually. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind, you're included in this circle, too, so any insults you hurl will apply right back to you. Anyways. I had this long, this friend, you know, for a long time, red-haired, glasses-wearing gun nut called Iris. 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 Or Iris. Yeah. The one you called for the helmet thing? That one. She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar, too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. It's called N1RVANNA. Nirvana! Oh, that's a... Oh, if they make a sequel game, that's Nirvana. Oh. I would, I, will, I would play a sequel to this game. And if you thought, you thought this city was dangerous, you should see the people she has to deal with there. Piracy ain't nothing to fuck with. And means it's an annex to another business. What else does she do there? I was really hoping there would have been like a break or something between this so I could actually get another drink and <sighs> stretch my fucking legs, but... This conversation is going on forever, so I'm just gonna pour a drink now. Ugh. It's interesting that we're getting character development. Okay. Come on, close. There we go. And you. Ugh. Man, this game's great, and this soundtrack is fucking amazing. I just want more games where I have to serve alcohol to people. It's like the perfect thing. It's weird. <laughs> it's like a chef wanting to play a cooking game. I'll not saying that. Again, I haven't actually served a drink in months. I don't get behind the bar that much. I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. She moved to the bar in its own building some elsewhere and opened Nirvana B. Nir N1RVANNB Hotel instead. Weird decision. I believe she said she wanted a place away from the noisy rich tourists that go to the hotel. So that bar is her woman cave. <sighs> woman cave. Oof. That one's a bit stronger than it was supposed to be. That was a bit of that was probably a triple measure rather than a double. 
Head aside, let's see. Friends, friends. I guess there's also my little sister, but that's a given. Oh, there's also my old partner from when I was with Neosan. Neo San Francisco Francisco Police Force. Good old Lexi. I should give her a call sometime. Wait, you were in the what? I've done lots of things, Jill. I spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter, chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot. Corporate what? I poured it too hard and now it's all float for me. I don't like drinking the foam. I still see my face on some websites from time to time. Anyways, aside from you, Gil, my sis, Iris, and Lexi, hmm. I guess there's a lot of people that I don't want to see me in harm's way. That don't want to see me in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones that want to hurt me. How about you? I guess I just have acquaintances here and there. Back at home, college, I went out a lot. Alright. I can, I can not drink for a bit. But it felt more like going out was the pleasure rather than the people involved. Uh, aside from you and Kill, my closest friend since moving here is Alma. Oh, Dorothy. I mean, sure, there's always four, but that cat's a hermit that refuses to go out. And you know, he's a cat. Hey, the cat's fine too, you know. Hey, boss. What do you do when the bar closes? I don't know. Maybe take a friend's offer of work with her. I was also thinking about going back home and helping with the things there. Or maybe going traveling for a while. Let me see. Oh, but hey, don't worry. Bureaucracy's slow as fuck. They won't close the bar for quite a while. Better enjoy being there while you can. Yeah, maybe. Will you be visiting me in whatever bar I end up working in? I have a bone to pick with the guy that supervises the bar I'm planning to get you transferred to. Mm, I go there even though I have virtually no reason to. With you there, I'd have something pleasant to look forward to. Um, you're sending me to someone you have problems with? If I have to trust another bar owner, it's certainly him. He's actually a pleasant boss from what I've seen. The fact that he and I have a tendency to go at each other's throats is an unrelated matter. I'll trust you on that one. Don't worry, maybe I can get you a bracelet made out of wood pieces from the bar's counter or something. Um, we'll see. Hey, tell you what. The bar closes, let's both take a vacation. Go on a trip! That'll clear your mind a bit. Yeah, maybe. Hey! Oh. Snow falling over a city. That was only a fucking chapter? Chapter 2. Amarga. That was only a chapter. How long is this game? How long is this game? This is amazing. Oh my god, I thought it was like at the end. I was like, oh man, I'm getting... I thought this was the end of screen. But no, that's great. Oh my god. Your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have 8,000... Jill is curious about a Daruma she saw. Getting one will prevent her from being too distracted. Have a nice day. Great. <laughs> Alright. Um, we're gonna put some music on. And we're gonna take a break. Uh, here. Shuffle, loop. And we'll start with Drive Me Wild. Alright. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break, guys. And I'll be right back with more... Valhalla.
We're going on a space adventure! Man, this is so 80s. I love it. Some synth shit. Alright. What time is it? What time is it? Time of our lives. Alright. I think we can probably get like two more days done in game before we stop. Oh, yeah. oh I just need to stretch. Oh, shit. Fuck me. I think I get used to sitting in a chair for hours on end, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Let's get back to game. Back to the video games. Bring you up, bring chat up so I can see chat. Hello, chat. How are you doing, chat? How are you guys doing today? You guys okay? You guys doing good? Are you guys feeling all right? That was a voice I worked on in my break. All right. Let's get back to the video game. Fuck, I fucked up my shoulder. Ah, <sighs> boss left the hoodie anyway. All right. Let's uh let's go buy the Daruma first. Crack Daruma. Man, I need to have 8,000 by the end of the month. That's a lot of money. All right, boop. Let's read A. Danger Use Admin has been arrested. Danger Use Admin has been arrested again. December 17th will come, second retribution. He did something, Katie's birthday is coming. By Lana Smithy. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Danger U with a new threat, which resulted in the rest of the site's admin, known as Furfur, for a second time. We have no details to give other than that the arrest was part of an ongoing investigation. Cybercrime units Lisette Blanc told Augmented Eye during a call, We are now busy tracking down the messenger message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about what the arrest Furfur would only call it respond with a calm, not this shit again. Poor guy. Hey, look at my little Daruma. I like that the room is just slowly evolving. Nano Camo is now making smart underwear. If underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, Nano Camo has you covered. All riding providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties, just change its color to black and you'll barely notice. That won't change the smell though, they're not that advanced. We expect an increase in sales this year, next year, thanks to this innovative product. The PR representative told Augmented Eye, I'm super, I'm already using them, super comfy, if you ask. You just thought about looking up the prices. I d did not. Voice activated underwear sounds amazing. GSF January 4th card announced 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke, 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 Yusuke. Headlining. I'm so proud of myself for saying Japanese words. The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event, but it's not that. The only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers, great workers such as the Great DK and Arents. Full card below, 66 Kid vs. Giant Yusuke, GSF Championship. Red Comet Jr. vs. Nagisa, Women's Championship. Akito vs. the Great DK, Roy Campbell vs. Arents. Jack Bomb and Blaze vs. Huli and Karakolta. Osuna vs. Siegfried. Wrestling. My boss made me curious. <sighs> All right, let's read Dangerous You. Apollo Bank is getting attacked. Oh, should I read this in order? Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augment and I talked about it very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to that one rogue article. It was from Kim. She's always she's always trying to get right serious shit, but I think EA got tired of her. AE, not EA. Fucking shame. So I'll get his clickbait from now on. Gonna get worse at the very least. White Knights say there's a lot of people inside the building. At least three people already dead. How is someone there shooting people? Looks like it was the security from the building, but I've got no details yet. Sounds weird as fuck. Come on, Insider Anon. You gotta give us more. Doing my best here. Thanks, Based Anon. Seems like a lot happened while I was gone. Uh, explosion registered. The media's still quiet about it. Can't confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs, not just one? That's right. Do we have any clue on who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group, not a new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned, but it looks like it's not a group, but just one person who set up all this. That's pretty ballsy. And this is just a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. How? A hacker is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting Alice. Huh. Someone doing something stupid on the internet is being actually useful? Useful? Some deep shit happening right there. 
Paul bangs me like, I can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but the huge amount of data was released from the service all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage, it's actually pretty unsettling. Damn. The files available from approximately 6,000 sort, 660,000 sources, a terabyte, 60,000 sources. Terabytes that contain all operations from Glitch City government and White Knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attack was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside of the bank, which had files of the little layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. <laughs> that shit sounds whack, yo! How do you even plan to make this complex? No idea, but that was what part of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, looks like I have to just leave. I try and write down a few details. We're going to need some time, though. Godspeed add on. Thanks. Will you read the file? Nah. <sighs> Alright, it actually was. I wanted to see if there's any new nano camo. Nano camo. Nothing new. Boo. Alright. Let's go to work, I guess. Jeez. Alright. Evening. Gil? Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving so many days without notice. <sighs> See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks. I guess. What? You gonna make me wash the bathroom again? Not today. Listen, I, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign you're still alive. So, you were worried? Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey, boss. Why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours. But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I, uh... Couldn't find it myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it, but mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. Uh, I see. I don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. R right. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but, you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Yeah. So, cheer up! Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that! I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyways, let's start the day. Jukebox time! Alright. I need to buy more music, but I also need to pay my electricity bill. Oh, the woes of real life. Alright. All right, uh, commencing simulation? Commencing simulation. Uh, uh, commencing simulation, alternate reality. Uh, all systems go, cause I really like that song. Drive me wild, cause it's a fun song. Uh, uh Neo Avatar is a good song, A Ren's a good song. Snowfall, Reminiscence, Metropolis, Dusk, Heart of the City. Oh, one more. Um, Underground Club. All right. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. Uh, I mean it. Thanks. God damn it, new people. Who the fuck's this guy? Girl. Guy? Girl guy? Guy girl. Person. Goddamn androgynous future. Uh, 
Um, excuse me, I'm looking for Donna Zane. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Donna Zane. Uh, may I have your name? <laughs> may I have your name? Um, may I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss! Some Brian guy is looking for you! Tell him I'll be there in a bit! She'll, um... You heard her. It's alright. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. And it'll be like I'm just another client. Uh, Alright, uh, I can do that. Uh, what can I get for you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. Uh, sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Let's make a drink. Make a drinks. Make a drinks. Make a drinks for a dude. Make a drinks. Make a drinks. We'll give him some catramine. All mixed. Ah, <sighs> uh, here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? Well, they're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. Yeah, the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future's a bartender. It's not bright. Huh. They never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yeah, that's me. Dan has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but... You have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the news on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bag incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? And turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols. I mean, the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first. Giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, he has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young, young bars are the ones under the radar right now. The modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales? Among the reason a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough. Huh. Sorry? Oh, uh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Jill. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. S so much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh, yeah, uh, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. Let's make a drink! Hmm. Let's give Brian a suplex. I think that's a manly drink. Suplex. What's the story? A small twist on the pile driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Two, three, four. One, two, three. And two, three. Here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. 
You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're... So you're Robert. Yes, um, that's my name. I'm... I'm Robert, uh, the one and only. Uh, Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Ha, huh. I see. Sorry, Brian, I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Uh, not really, no. Although... Yeah. Yeah. If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders, a top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Stella, okay. Recognizing the character things. She's coming in, so I'm taking a drink now. Yeah, no. Um, uh, Jill, was it? Ah, uh, Miss Stella, uh, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just, uh, just call me Stella, and, um, get me a big beer, please. Huh, uh, sure, on it. Stella asked for a beer. The b, -b, -b beer Are you sure you're fine? Um... You know say, right? Of course. Uh, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank doing, during that whole affair and... Oh. Right. That. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her? Uh, as much as I'd love to say that I had... Yeah, I figured as much. Man, the air's suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit... condescending. <sighs> what does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I don't think clearly under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye in here the other day. I? Sorry, uh, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, uh, maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? What's his name? Uh, I believe it was Art... No, Art Van... No, Von Delay. Oh, that art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Sai. So, you still have hope? Well, I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me the answers, I suppose, say, but whatever they might be. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, no, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know that you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. 
Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. Something to help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Something sweet to calm her down. Let's have a drink. Mm. Alright, something sweet. Something sweet. Uh. Uh. Wait, that's. Uh, Sparkle Star. You used extra spell, but too many kind of. So I'm wondering, is the calm thing important? Sweet drinks, Brantini, sweet classy happy, uh, sugar rush, sweet girly happy. I'll go with... Mm, I'll go with the Blue Fairy. I like the Blue Fairy, it's a fun name. A Blue Fairy. She needs a bunch of booze though, she's super sad. Age, mix, stop. Oh wait, did I fuck that up? One, two, three, four, one. Oh, I didn't age it. Success! Ugh. Here. Thanks. Seems like you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and uh, my social interactions are usually strictly business. So, says more than a friend to me. She's. She's. Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. You have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to add anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But we say, I can do myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be in a mess with that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take a break. You could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, <clears throat> leave it to me. Hey, we're going on break. What a lovely story. And by lovely, I mean sad. How sad. The poor French cat lady has got... Uh, she's the, her girlfriend is missing. I like that it's tied into art, though. Art Vandelay. Freaking George Costanza. We haven't seen Donovan in a while. I want Donovan to show back up. God damn, it's chilly outside. Jukebox! Alright, jukebox. Let's go. Every day is night. Uh, you know, let's do a theme. Let's do some. Let's do everything that mentions the word night. Or darkness. So, like, a sh those who dwell in shadows. A star pierces the dark. Uh... Dusk. It's kind of like, you know, just before the dark. Uh, city that never sleeps. That, you know, you can imagine that's dark. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to find... Enough of these. <laughs> a neon glow lights. Uh, troubling news. We're just gonna make everybody feel bummed out. Where do I go from here? March of the White Knights. Those who dwell in shadows. Nighttime maneuvers. And your love is a drug. Cause I love your love is a drug. It's the best song. I'm back. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Art Vandalay. Shit. George Costanza! What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. Uh, what happened while I was gone? Well, let's see. Mm, detective guy comes in. Cat Boomer greets him. They start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentions Ibatsu Cop offhand. 
And after that, the guy got riled up, so bad mouth again. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was a normal conversation. Mm, I see. Well, I want to know that the Batacop is anything but innocent. When you get onto it, it does enhance the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced, you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True. I don't know, and true, I have privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of the Batu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration programs they started making is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AI as citizens. Yes, but we also have the AI reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's little, little prison. AI went rogue, transfer it to a livery donor, or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Oh yeah, two drinks for new characters. Well, not new, but... Mm. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. The Battle Corp success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow! More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, the Battle Corp's main medical research branch has also made a lot of discoveries. More and more illnesses, previously thought uncurable, are being addressed every day. It's amazing, for those that can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are some more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up! Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hmm. Hey you, don't just sit there, give me a zen star. Sure. Let's make a zen star for the Thor baby. This is a -z 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 zen star, it's a promo drink. It's four of each ingredient. All on the rocks and mixed. Drink complete. <laughs> Down with the proletarian dictatorship. Ah. <laughs> uh, Alright. That looks like a nice drink. I have to say, all of like that pixel art for the drinks in this game look really nice. I'm also doing that thing because chat's on my other monitor. I, I, sh I should be looking at the camera when I'm talking to you guys, but I'm looking at that because that's where you are. I need to stop doing that. Serve! Uh, here. God, this is awful! It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't believe everything you just said. Of course I do, why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, they're still a luxury, belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away from the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit is due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about the job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but it, I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole idea started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for, they only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. 
it wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Yeah, thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, they might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Uh, um... Just get me whatever you order. Uh, two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. Two bad touches! Alright, so that's gonna be two drinks. I'm gonna take it now, so I can make this drink really good. the rocks and mixed. Already did that. I remember this one party I went to. Uh, the guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found out that one, after people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine, a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you like not to slap him? Um, are you Kejil? I'm... <laughs> now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out, she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Okay. Ah, someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that the dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with say is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting on her side, people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a robot gun haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but uh, she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about all that. Say is not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. And she surely found her way out. <sighs> I just hope she's well, wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vangile? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll draw away. Okay then, I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine, I get his order. A piano man for the detective. Oh, what a day when the piano man showed his Harley face. Harley face, I didn't know what I was saying there. I just wanted to talk like an old timey radio guy. The piano man, the worst superhero known to man, brightens the scene. On the rocks and mixed. And drink. I, you know, when chat's quiet, I just assume that you guys are just enjoying the show. Here. Ah, so this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on said situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I can get distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please, come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. 
<clears throat> all right then, uh, that would be all, Donna. Mm, quite a mess, the situation with, uh, Robert. Holy shit, who's this? Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Oh, mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill will be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um... This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You got me cast, by the way. Uh, I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone. Let me say it's more interesting that what... It finally hung up. Whew. It's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. <laughs> I have... <sighs> arrived yet again! <coughs> oh god. At the majestic hall of heroes! Calm until now. We meet again, bartender! You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio! No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing society opposes on lettuce. They want to be free! They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilio. We are all little toys winded by the cruel hands of fate. Just stumbling until it decides to not to wind us anymore. And yet... And yet you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's um... I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get for you? Something fake. Uh, of course. Something fake, huh? Man, this guy's a fucking mystery puzzle. My bad Nathan Lane and Realms live at some point. <laughs> uh, I tell you that. I tell you the story, but it would be too com conflicted. I can't improv right now. I'm, I'm too many drinks into improv. So he wants something fake. So probably like... Ah. Uh. This guy is gonna make sure that I never fucking get the, the no mistakes bonus. Because I don't know what a fake drink is. I guess the beer is kind of fake. The beer is fake, technically. Uh, man, double clicking. So right now I'm thinking either a Grizzly Temple or uh, a beer. Beer? You guys think beer? I'll do beer. Cause yeah, it says it's fake, right? Traditionally brewed. Oh, you don't want him to be here. Uh, I feel like it's either beer or Grizzly Temple. Man, this guy's fucking annoying. Why can't he just ask for normal drinks like everyone else? Uh, I want my money. I need the money. Fuck. I'm going to go with the beer. I'm going with the beer. All right. 
Have a beer. Um, here you go. Now, tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving it down about the abstract order are fake. Bravo! Brilliant! Say, Vigilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes in and keep it clean for the people that visit the premise. Premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah. He told me, stop touching the exhibits, you gotta break them. The nerve of some people. Huh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator here. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't they? Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay then. Time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. He wants purity, so I can't give him pure ingredients. Um, purity, uh, purity. I don't know what to give this guy. He's the most annoying to serve drinks to. All right. Hmm. Ba 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 ba. God damn it. Purity, huh? I guess sugar rush. Maybe. Uh, man. This guy's so hard. I... I guess... I could give him rum. Because that's just rum. Right? Like, that's just rum on its own. That's kind of as close to pure as I can get. Because otherwise... Zen? You think Zen? It's balanced, I guess. Is that pure? You know what, I'm gonna... Oh. Yeah, alright, let's go with Zen. Let's do a Zen. I like Zen because it's just easy. It's just four of everything. Ooh, wait, the athletic alcohol, which was that? Whoop, whoop. Hmm. You guys are right. You guys are making good arguments for everything. All right, I'm gonna make a decision myself. Okay, Fringe Weaver. You know what? Yeah, you bought. I like this one. This one's basically just fucking alcohol. Let's go for it. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes! Beautiful! <sighs> hmm? Hey, you! The guy over there! Me? Yes, you! Have we met before? Uh, can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think. No, 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 no. We haven't met ever at all. That's uh, an interesting reaction. Ah, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Uh, be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? 
Is that... That face! That eye! What's about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever! At all! Never, ever, ever, never, never, ever, 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 never! Good talking to you, bartender! Um... Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, uh, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. We done for the day! Yep. And quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit! That Virgilio guy! So you two have actually met before? Yeah. Mm, you could say that. What? What? Gil stuff. Don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, uh, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. Mm, I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with uh, Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also turning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy. An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. You all right, Jill? Yeah. It must be nothing. Now we drink. I made no mistakes. Nailed it. Nailed it. Your electricity bill will be sent on the 24th. Please make sure you have $8,000 needed. Jill is a bit tense. Buying a shoulder massage will prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. So I found that buying her the thing that she wants has been working out for me. So I'm just going to keep buying her the things that she wants and nothing else. And that way she'll be happy and leave me alone and be good and talk to people. Surely she will focus at work. For... I need some me time. Use the bathroom. I like to think that the, the voice of her cat is just Garfield, but I don't do a good Garfield. So it's just like this instead. Hey guys. Garfield, huh? I don't really know how to do a Garfield. No, I can't do Garfield. All right, let's read some shit. Uh, Apollo Bank, did I read this? Uh, I feel like I read this one already. Yeah, I read this one already. Nano camo underwear. I think I'll get a pair just to see what the kind of see what kind of skin I can use with them. They will nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin you want. It's gonna get cracked day one, maybe, but I don't think it'll be that fast. Yeah, I think it'll just wait until it's modded for custom skins. I thought the nano machine fabric was bad for your health. Nah, that's just a meme. My walls are made of that thing, and I'm all right. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm gonna marry Camo Tan. We now have underwear that you can change the look. Don't you just love the future? I would if they weren't such a bunch of assholes with their business practices. Then don't buy the underwear. I won't. Tad use is considering you're a streaker. Or have a boyfriend. Kinda of tad use this unless you're a streaker. Or have a boyfriend. <gasps> Kira Miki blog! Uh did I read this? Okay. I read the dome concert one, so let's see this. Ooh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I can feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me and I got ex to experience the loudest, craziest crowd of my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited as we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. Wait, I feel like I read that already. Oh. oh yeah, I did read that one. Every now and then I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from just being born three years ago and directly being thrown into this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry makes me think of all the things I've mi I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or even gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all possible feelings and even sense get even my senses get tired of the same environment. I want to meet new people places because even though I have a larger bank of knowledge, I actually never experienced what with what most consider normal. But you already know that from my songs. I suddenly have an urge to go hug her. She seems nice. And let's read the AE. The EKDV186 gets a historic update. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out right now over a firmware update that makes Makasai Heavy Industries is releasing for its EKDV8186 line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with NanoCam has been announced, allowing civilian models of this weapon to use the Nanocam. 
Nano Camouflage. Now the option to customize their look for free with the help of the Nano Camo app. We've been using Nano Camo in the battlefield for a year now, my skits chairperson told the Augmented Eye during a phone conversation. And it's thanks to the flexibility we can now sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with Nano Camo. The Nano Camo update will be released this month. Do you like guns? Nah, I don't need a penis that badly. But um Gotta have a drink for her awesome burn on the male gender. AM Township 64 released. New waifu machine? Sukaban Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. This is after several attempts at appealing to a broader audience with the Uranus game console. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. We're going for the weeb audience, said Kirin51. Kirin51, a Sukaban Soft janitor. What's dignity anymore? Sukaban Soft plans to launch the AM, AM Township sometimes next year. Can you play a game from those guys? Monster Girl Puzzle? Yeah. Men prefer Christmas cakes. For the longest time, the term Christmas cake referred to women aged 26 or above who were regarded as undesirable, just like a Christmas cake that seeks be ceases being useful after December 25th. <laughs> that is so good! That is amazing! Holy shit! Holy shit, this game has just given me a new fucking term! Christmas cake! Oh, I love it. But men around Glitch City developed a sweet tooth. Who doesn't like a mature woman? Todd, 19, told True Augmented Eye. They have all this their experience already. Plus, I'm so tired of spoiled, immature girls doing stupid shit. I say bring on the hot office ladies. Jill, 27, is confused. Christmas what? Is that like the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an hour-long rant. I'll let you know. Pencil skirts are the best. That's one hell of a rant. Dot, 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 dot. That is fucking amazing. I didn't know that term. I'm giving I'm giving the game the credit for delivering me the term. I didn't know about it, but now I know about it, and that's the important thing. Christmas cake. <laughs> Let's go to work. I need to I need to get money and pay my dues. Hey, in Cyberpunk world, it's Dead Bones' birthday. Happy birthday, Cyberpunk Dead Bones. Which I guess would probably be a Lilum. Because that's the closest thing to a skeleton person. Or at least the closest thing that could look like a skeleton person. Or it's a dude who got like a bunch of augments and just has like weird techno shit. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that in this future, it's his birthday. Good evening. Ah, oh, hello, Jill. And that cage. I, um, I brought my cat. Your cat? <sighs> what the fuck is this? Did I hear Yasunori Kato was in the bar? Bring me that bastard! I'll give him the fist of justice! I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake! I'll borrow his cap! Wait. There are no evil Omiyuji here. Boss? What the fuck? Did you just say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat. Well, that's even better! Hey, Four! Mm. So cute. Why'd you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. So I'd rather have him here, at least. Oh well. I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis here. Mm, you want me to take care of him? In my office, please? Sure, but he's a bit shy, so... Alright, Four, let's go to my office. And I think she didn't hear me. Say, Jill, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep. Chief got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyways, let's start. With the jukebox. Like 2069, I could be alive in 2069, right? What are we in, like 2016? 2017. Okay. I mean, I could hope that I make it to 2069, or at least have my conscious copied and put into a robot. 
I'd be cool with that. Because even though I would be dead, my consciousness would live on in a robot. So that'd be cool. I'd be down with that. Very much so. As long as I don't have to, you know, like have my head cut open or any shit like that. All right. Last, the last time we had a theme of the night and the darkness. Now we're going to have happy things like a neon glow lights and a gaze that invited and umemoto because I have no idea what it means, but I like saying it. And all systems go and you will remember me. And, uh, uh, your love is a drug and a star pierces the dark and snowfall because snow is nice. And with renewed hope, and dawn approaches, and skyline, because everybody likes looking at the sky, and uh, showtime. Great. Six, 2069, I did say 2016 originally, but 2069 is when I'd have to live to for this game. All right, time to mix drinks and change lives. It's the, it's the dog of Dracula. It's the dog of Dracula. It's a corgi in a Hawaiian shirt wearing sunglasses. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I love it. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Uh, lady, did you hear me? Wait, that's too close to George. Lady, did you hear me? A dog, another dog. Hey, I'm not just a dog. I came here as a part-timer. So, you're the part-timer. Yeah! Boss, I'm taking my break! It's too early! Shit! The part-timer's here! Huh? Oh, he came early! Why a dog? Why, 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 why? Because, look at him! He has a Hawaiian shirt! And sunglasses! And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi! I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Granted, Shibas could be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking dogs and used by royalty. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help around here. Okay, I need to change, I need to give him a better voice. I need to give him a better voice, fuck. I just, I automatically go like this, but I've done so many characters that talk like this, it's not, doesn't go anymore. Hey, whoa. My name, I'm gonna just give him, he's gonna be a surfer guy. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Sheba. Why Rad Sheba? What part of Hawaiian shirt and shun sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks. Thanks. Anyways, he'll mostly be helping getting orders, bringing clients in, and clean, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Um, right. Scooby voice. Right, <laughs> have a grizzly temple. No. I'll have a grizzly temple. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple post traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. The deja vu hurts. Grizzly temple. Ah, uh, all blended. I haven't had to do a blended drink in a while. Anyway, two drinks because I didn't do the drink for the dog and the drink for this. All right. Here. Whoa, this is awful. 
People actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe, I know. So, what brings a dog like you to a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Safar Toy Company? What? No! Don't let me in with those hurting supremacists. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to Sira. Sira? Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. Sira is what I love, but it's damn expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We want to help Sira be the best it can be. What do you do with Sira? Pay treatment for her dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Huh, that actually sounds kind of nice. Say, you have a menu? Uh, something like that. Yeah, here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Just avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream. I like the sound of this one. Coming right up. The dog now wants a fluffy dream. Give me a fluffy dream. I'll give you a fluffy dream. I'm not good at improv songs. If only. Nope. God damn it. Fuck me, this is rocking. Alright, let's get this dog fucking pissed. This dog is gonna be pissed. Fluff dream. Drink for dog. Fluffy Dream. Well, this one's nice. So, uh, why did you pick a bar? This seemed fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this. This is my best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking. And I do love me some walks. I can walk all day. Weird skills? Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Why did you pick a bar? Um, on a whim too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending is a little bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh yeah, about the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it, hey. It's a cat! A cat! Hey, Four, weren't you at the boss's office? Hello, cat! Wanna play? Let's play! Did dogs hate cats or something? We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Huh? You said his name was Four. Hello, Four! Let's play! No playing aloud. You'll make a mess. Four, go back to the boss's office. That's one obedient cat. My pride. Uh, you want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Huh? All right. I shouldn't get so riled, riled up so easily by dogs, but I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. I can't identify colors anymore. Huh? Eh? That voice? S <gasps> what happened to you? It's Say, everybody! Two drinks, because the dog left the screen and she entered the screen. Shit, what did Say sound like? I think she was just kind of like airhead, right? She was like, Nice seeing you too! Nice seeing you too! Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one! Don't worry. How did you manage to slip out of the mobs lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why come straight here? I... The ambulance where I got the treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on the rescue duties. I was nearby, and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I need to regain my composure before doing anything else, so... Here I am. Um... 
If you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know. The security systems of the bar are top-notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First, I hear you're at the bank, then I find out you disappeared. And now you show up with all those bandages. Are you fine? What happened at that backing bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow... Slow down a bit. The medication makes me feel everything more intensely. Almost like a hangover. S sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me, though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knights they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet without alcohol? Thank God these pants still have my wallet in them. Oh no, I, I, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the... Jill, please, I want to pay for my drinks. I take it I won't be able to change your mind? Nope. I mean, yes. I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet. No alcohol. Right. Coming right up. Uh, let's make some... Should I give her something sweet that doesn't have alcohol in it? So, sweet drinks. And look for optional camera treats. So, sugar rush... Sunshine Cloud. Okay, so Sugar Rush or Sunshine Cloud, really. I'll give her a... I'll give her a Sunshine Cloud. I feel like this is one of the first drinks I made. On the rocks and blended. Drink time! Here. It burns a bit. So, what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I jumped from a higher places, but I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk! I was under rubble for quite a bit, but... Luckily, someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. What? N nothing. You just sound, um... cheerful. I'm alive! Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am, talking to you, being able to talk at all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. How? 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 How were things around here? I I heard there was a huge commotion when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep in the bar on Saturday, but uh, I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Um. Hey, Jill, I want another drink. Uh, um, a Bleeding Jane. She asked for a Bleeding Jane, but is it really the best idea to give her one? I mean, you know, it's the customer's always right. Always right. Here. Cheers! So, how were things inside the bank? <coughs> Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Um, well, I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing. Cracking through security, finding safe spots. But then, um... Sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. No, don't worry about it. It's just the Analysia and... Oh, God. I should know this word. My brain knows this word, but I can't say it. Chat, help. It's 
just the analysiacs, analysics, analysic. Is that it? It's not an aesthetics. It's not a, wait, it's not an aesthetics, shit. Analogiacs, anest it's not anesthesiacs, I think. Analogiacs, 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 anesthetics, analgistocs, analgistocs, analgesics. Thank you. No, don't worry about me, it's just the analgesics still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Are, are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. <sighs> that girl saw some awful things inside that bank. The sight, of st the sight of desperate people stuck in one building is enough to scar anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that? I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here... I don't know, I, I feel like I was being too pushy. That's not something I can measure. You were just worried. I bet she's still in shock. Yeah. Um, Jill? Want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please. Alright. I'll go and take my break now. And while she takes her break, I'll take my break. Valhalla. Man, this game would be so different if it actually had voice acting. Like, I imagine it would be good. Because the writing is good, so like if they just got semi-decent voice actors in, it would be fine. Or even just whatever they could get, really. I know it's an indie game. You don't really expect indie games to have voice acting, but I feel like this game would be really good with a semi-decent voice cast. Anyway, we're going to take a quick break, and I'll be right back. So don't go anywhere, guys. I'm going to put on some, some sick tunes from the playlist here. Let's play something different. Let's play some... Uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? The one song that's not part of any other thing. Oh, fuck. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? God damn it. This is going to take forever if I just don't see it. There it is. All right. I'll be right back after a word from, again, nobody. No sponsors. Just, just me. I don't need sponsors. Who needs sponsors?
Hey, just one quick stretch again. That's mostly all I ever do with these fucking breaks, is either like refill drinks, go to the bathroom, or just fucking walk and stretch. Ugh, yeah. Alright, back to the game. Back to the video, guys. Uh, music be paused. Scene two. I should really set up hotkeys for this. Chat. <sighs> Button. Yeah, did I save? I may just make sure I saved. Okay, I did. Mm. We're back. It's now safe to keep playing 2069 Sukaban Games. Too much heavy stuff lately. Jukebox! Time for a drink. Mm. I'm glad I changed the drink rules for this. It means I can actually get, like, last time it was like a hundred and something. I've already gotten past that. All right. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to do a theme. This this is probably like, I'm probably just going to finish this day and then I'm going to be done with Valhalla. And I'll do the, the finishing IRL segment. So, in that regard, I'm just going to put songs I like. So I know I love Loggy the Beloved Dog. I know I like Neo Avatar. All Systems Go is amazing. Uh, actually, go back. Welcome to Valhalla is great. Uh, Chemistry and Dream, always a favorite. Base of the Titans, love it. Uh, Showtime is great. Everything will be okay. I don't really care about these last couple ones, but... Who was I? Troubling news, a gaze invited. Double drink. All right, peace out, Gray. Hope you enjoyed this nonsense. All right. <sighs> Hope everything goes all right. Ah, hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Um, Jamie? Ah. Uh. Jill. Wait. Jensen. You're right. Uh, Jill. Uh, Jillian isn't here, is he? Jillian isn't here, I see. Are you alright? You look distracted. I'm fine. No worry. If you say so. Jill! Where do I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? The cage has a small litter box included. Oh, that's convenient. Four. Four is my cat. Some apartments in my building are being inspected today, so I brought him to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. Uh, what can I get you? Mm, the usual. The usual gut punch. The usual gut punch. Manly drinks. Gut punch. Five Bronsons. One Flanagride. And four caramel. Age, mix, stop, serve, drink, done. Ah, uh, here. Mm. I thought when someone, <laughs> I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke How about giving them a client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that. In theory, yeah. Uh. Jill's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read he read an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning they needed to say puns. That seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Hey! Thanks for the bitch, Livithopilia. Livith I knew I said it before. Livithopilia. 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 I can't say it. I'm too far gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it. Ooh. Yep. When I tell him that. It's, it's too amusing, to be honest. Uh, so, what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Hmm... Nothing you should think too much about. It's like those times you feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. 
Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people who want to pay off, pay off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone who owns a house in a way that some building or some nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm set to kill someone that has done something like stealing, killing, and getting paid for it, you can see it as a bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be one to kill for re pretty reasons I don't like those. Hmm. Well, let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh? Uh, sure. Too broad a category, maybe there's something manly would be better. Manly and bitter. Uh, he already wa mm, he already had a gut punch. Uh, I feel like I'd serve them the same drink twice would be strange. Ooh, a suplex, because it's like a variation on a pile driver. Which isn't what I that makes no sense at all, but uh, on the rocks and mix. Shit, what'd I do wrong? Oh, right. Uh, da, da, da. uh Boom! Ah, uh, here! Ah, uh, yeah. You just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson Roots every afternoon. He said they made him stronger. Bronson Roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. It seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Ah, no, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my head around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and are now talking to me here, it's... it's weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah, uh, yeah. I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that was like offering a tale to a bored kid, but yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there's actually a bounty hunter organization in the city not long ago. Law enforcement put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that he, the black clothes were there to hide bloodstains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top-notch. His information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account, before shooting himself. Damn. Why hasn't that been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that? The registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is it that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? I mean, they could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals, and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. So, no. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, everyone knew anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions. I'm telling you about the dip. I've actually had those suspicions. I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I 
don't know how well you changed the s subject, but that was certainly an interesting story. Just to make sure you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something. Just to make sure you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh. That story left my throat a bit dry. Give me a beer, please. Sure. One beer coming right up. Bingo, bango, dunzo. Uh, here. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Gillian, Gillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting, though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gilly Gillian has seen quite the trail of dramatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talk so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss, Gillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone... Wait, if I say it out loud, I feel like I'll just tempt fate. But let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face, and that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. Hey! Two drinks, because someone left and someone came. This is the guy whose daughter died. He's a bit of an asshole, but he hires Dorothy, this underage sex robot girl that you might have seen earlier in the stream, uh, to play his daughter once a year, every so, or every so often. I don't know if it's once a year, but specifically on, a, on, the day, on his daughter's birthday, just to be his daughter. No sex stuff, just he hires her to be his daughter. It's very weird and interesting. His name's Ingram. I don't remember what voice I gave him. I'm going to proceed to give him a new voice, probably. Or maybe it will be the voice I gave him last time and I've just forgotten. Let's find out, shall we? So, uh, you still work here? I knew it! Uh, I mean... Quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Get out of my job. Need a drink bad- need a drink badly. Hey, I remember this crack house was nearby. What can I get for you then? I'll have, a uh, Bleeding Jane. On it. Bleeding Jane! One. One, two, three. One, two, three. Blended. Serve. Here. Ah. Uh, oh, he is kind of Italian. That's good. Ah, uh, tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So, uh, where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but there's this, uh, well, network of engineers in need of assi assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but uh, I can follow instructions and uh, that's all I need. Recently, I've been working with this silly, silly girl. Working on some exper experimental powered suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommend me. I don't ask questions and quickly want to do whatever they need. Huh. Sounds nice. Eh. It's pretty monotonous at times though. Why you give me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. Hey, we all have good days and bad days. Uh, today just happens to be a uh, not so bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in the houses, the streets are not clear with no traffic jams. That's always a plus. I guess. Almost became a bad day though, uh, thanks to some teens on the way here. Uh, what did they do? 
That's yeah, not what they did. It's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. I seen one too many kids throwing around that let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu crap. Even if Zaibatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the kid honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim job on the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't, don't let it get to you. I don't, I just hate teenagers. It's interesting though, a big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know, I'm not a political person. No shit. Alright, give me a Zen star and try not to mess it up. Coming right up. Now he wants a Zen star. I'll give him a Zen star. Zen star. Ah, uh, on the rocks and mixed. Already strength about. Here. Yeah, it's just as nasty as I heard. Why order it then? Not your problem. So, where's the red comet? My boss? She. Jill! Forehead. Jill! Forest headed your way! Let's play for. Let's play! Wait. Let's play for. Let's play! Mm -hmm. Oh, a customer! Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here? And a cat? The cat's mine. His name's Four. The dog just... hangs around here. He looks well-groomed and is, uh, his fur is healthy. Seems to take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So I'll, uh, take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. You said that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four is as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four. He's my baby. Now, go play or something. Right. Ah, you're back. What happened with Say? The cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Uh, only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment. So you miss Dorothy? Kinda. But anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. I made one mistake! Ah, why'd I make a mistake? That sucks. Oh well. Mm. Your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the 800,000 needed. Okay. So I'm gonna just buy her beer real quick. Uh. Oh, that's so expensive. I need to make a shit. Wait, what date is it? 21st? Oh god, I've only got three days to make the money to pay my bills. Oh, that's right, I gave Sai a sweet- uh, okay, yeah, that's right, I fucked up that. Four, mind the hairballs. You leave bigger ones in the shower. Any new things? I don't even know if we get new things. I don't think I get new things. Well, mm, I don't want to be spending money anyway. All right. Oh, I think that's going to do it for Valhalla tonight. I'm going to switch over to the IRL category, and we'll- just chill for a bit while I finish my drink. Oh, all right. So, uh, for those of you that only came, well, not only, but those of you here that only want to really watch the game and just kind of want to head off because it's getting late, 
Uh, we'll be playing Valhalla again next week, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, assuming nothing happens or interferes with my schedule. Uh, and I'm going to just switch over real quick to IRL. And we're going we're gonna to chill for a bit. So let me just... Let me just save the game real quick. And uh, exit. I will go back to the title screen. Sukabon Games. God, this game is so good, though. Why is this game so good? All right. Switch this. <gasps> switch to this. Hi. Hello. And put some music on. There we go. All right. Oh, I need to stretch. I need. To, I need. I need to stretch. Oh, wait. Let's change the category. Right. Category. Oh, I don't need to do it. Thanks very much. Image appreciated. So I'm just gonna. Man, that game is so much fun. Fucking hell. Yeah. No, I'm really digging playing this game. Uh. It's, it's a lot of fun, like, the writing is fantastic. I love, like, just all the writing in it. Uh, the characters are, they, like, the character designs are really cool. The art's fantastic. The music is amazing. I'm really happy that I'm probably going to be playing this game for the foreseeable future until I eventually beat it. But it's, uh, it's great. It's really good. I'm still fiddling with the, what would you call it? the format for these Friday Night Drinking Streams. I think, so initially I wanted to do like the long IRL segment into the game segment and then end on that. Now I think I'm gonna just do like a little bit of IRL just to get me like kind of warmed up for the whole streaming thing and have a few drinks, play the game and then do like this where I just do like, so IRL video game and then IRL to cap off the night. Just chill and talk to you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good way to go. Uh, tonight's been great, though. Uh, like, all you guys that subscribed, all you guys that stayed to watch, uh, me do stupid voices. <laughs> uh, it's always much appreciated, as always, guys. Uh, yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. Like I said when I first started doing this, um, this is really useful for keeping my voice performance varied and, you know... It helps me make sure that I don't get rusty for other shit that I do, which is nice. And it's also forced me to do a lot more female character voices than I had anticipated. Which is also good, I guess, to make me better at doing them. Although there's only so good you can really get at doing a character of another gender. It's quite difficult. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna sit here and chill for a bit. Um, you guys have any like questions or stuff about whatever uh feel free to ask i'm just gonna be reading the chat and just just chilling man just fucking <sighs> zoning out for a little bit mm. oh. oh god damn it here i'll put on my cyber shades real quick i'm really sad that the green screen makes these not work it's really disappointing. I mentioned something coming back in February. Coming back? Mm. I mean, there's another thing, kind of stream thing that I'm planning on doing, but um, that won't be until the end of February. Or at least, that actually probably won't be until I finish Valhalla, honestly, because they're it's kind of the same thing. Got any favorite voices or favorite characters from... Valhalla? Um, like, favorite character from Valhalla so far? I really like Dorothy, weirdly enough. She's just a fun character. Um, and, you know, Dawson is amazing. Like, those are my two. Dawson and Dorothy are my two top favorite characters. Voices for this game, specifically. Um, Virgilio's voice and... Dorothy's voice. Those are the two that I have a lot of fun doing. It's weird. I have a lot of fun doing the super high pitch because I know it's annoying and I enjoy kind of doing it. Uh, and Virgilio just because it's like, it's a weird voice and I don't get to do it that often. So it's, it's cool. <laughs> I 
I mean, like, that's the thing that you guys don't see, like, during Yurum's live and stuff, is, um... I have to... I move a lot when I do voices. I do a lot of hand gestures and shit because it helps me do the voice stuff. Uh, I also do a lot of stupid shit with my face. Like, a lot of stupid shit with my face for certain voices. So, yeah. That's why, that's why there's a camera. Otherwise, there wouldn't be, like... It would just be the game. I would just show you guys the game and not me because... It would be very boring, and I'm just talking, but because I'm animated doing voices, it's semi-interesting at least. Any funny attributes for Yurum's Live Season 3? Uh, there's a bunch of cool new stuff. Uh, I'm not going to talk specifics because, you know, spoilers and stuff. You guys are just going to have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice chill music. Nice chill music. No, yeah, no, they... It, it really helps to move a lot. Like, I, you guys might notice that when I'm talking like Jill, I kind of go down here. When I do um, Don, I go up here. Like, I move my head. I I have different positions for different characters. I kind of do this when I'm Virgilio. I kind of do hand stuff. It's, yeah, it's weird. I'm a crazy person. It's basically what it amounts to. Oh man, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. That's probably my favorite Paper Mario game. And I've only, well, I mean, I've only played like three, but that's such a good fucking Mario game, man. Play that on stream. <sighs> RPGs are hard. I could probably do it for like a Friday night drinking thing though, if there was enough demand, but yeah. My weirdest bartending story? Um. I don't have a lot of... I mean, what, it depends on what you consider weird. Like, over the years, of course, like I've had weird customers and shit, and I've had a lot of weird encounters with customers and such, clientele that, you know, not that people don't handle that. Some people don't out handle their alcohol very well. Some people get very violent or weird um, in different ways. Weirdest story. Uh, hmm. Oh, well, this was about... Okay, I got... It's not really that... It's not super weird, but, um... Probably about... 2017, so probably back in 2008? Or 2009? Probably 2008, though. Yeah, I think before I was... Before I was manager. Yeah. Um, so there used to be this uh, old guy who would come into the bar, uh... Like... Every Wednesday at 7pm on the dot. Like, like on the dot. It was kind of like, you could, you could set your watch by this guy showing up. Uh, and he always ordered the exact same drink. He, or, he always ordered uh, a bottle of uh, San Miguel. It's Spanish, it's a touristy Spanish drink. It's not that touristy, but it's fine. It's it's beer. Uh, he'd always just order a bottle of San Miguel. He'd take it, he'd sit in the corner, and he'd drink it. He'd take a while to drink it, probably like an hour or so, which is a pretty long time to drink one fucking drink. So he'd probably he'd be he'd be there for an hour and then he'd just leave, and he wouldn't talk to anybody. He wouldn't engage in conversation with the bar staff, with cl other clients and stuff. He just had his drink and left. From seven to eight, he would come in, sit down, drink, and then leave. And he did this for probably at least a year, almost a year, if not if not a year, probably like close to a year. Uh, until one day he just stopped coming. Uh, like all together, and it's 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 not it's weird. It's I know it's not that super weird of a story. Like, hey, a guy just went to a thing, but to me it was weird because it became such a staple, and then it suddenly stopped. Like when you know, if you're used to something happening so, on such a regular basis, you get used to it, and then suddenly he's gone, and then you wonder what the fuck happened to him. Like, yeah, I don't have any other weird, like, weird classically weird stories other than like, oh, I got you know. People punch broke my nose four times, and uh, I was almost stabbed, and I, yeah, that's shit, but that's not weird, that's just regular fucking bar life. Oh, Mark Hamill when he uh, voices Joker, yeah, I've seen some uh, in the studio clips of him, uh, it's amazing. Mark Hamill's fantastic, though, absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, I appreciate that everybody like thinks that I would make a good voice actor. Um, I feel like in another life I totally would have been, but it's just you know circumstance and uh, you know I didn't go down that route. I didn't. I, had I not been living where I'm living, had I been born somewhere else, I guess I probably wouldn't be the same person. But had I pursued the voice acting thing like super hardcore and like moved to Los Angeles and do that. Is stabbing regular thing in the bars? I mean, you know, common enough. Um, it's like, guns are super rare here, like super rare. But like, that's that's why everyone uses. Not, like, it's not well, not everyone, but you know what I mean. Like, commonly people uh, carry knives if they're wanting to hurt somebody else. So you know, it's safe to assume that you know, people of a certain caliber uh, carry a blade, a bladed knife. As opposed to like you know a not bladed knife. <laughs> but thankfully, I've never been stabbed. And hopefully, never will be, because that would suck. Uh, I know people that have been stabbed. It's not pleasant. I'm in my late twenties, yeah, but like that would be uh, you, for voice work specifically. Like I have no training. That's the thing to remember. Like, I I've I've never done any acting shit ever. Um, I did drama in high school and that's it. So like I have no professional experience. Uh, I don't live in a country that's like good for voice acting. Like if you wanna if you wanna be a professional voice actor, you basically have to live or be where there's you know, the voice acting studios are. So like um, if you wanna do anime you've probably gotta be in like Texas where Funimation is well there's probably other places, but I can only really think of uh, Funimation in Texas. Uh, LA is where most stuff is, happens because you know Los Angeles is just it's the capital of it all. Um, there's Canada and stuff, but yeah, Ugh. it would be nice. I I would be totally down with, like that's like a dream job, right? Like oh, being a voice actor. But even then, like voice acting's not something you would do just that, right? Like. Um, from what I, from what I've heard, from what I've seen, from what I know, no, from you know my brief experiences reading up online, uh, voice acting doesn't pay for like it's not a, a job you can make a living off of unless you're one of the few like you know uh, Troy Baker or fucking um, oh god I can't remember his name. He's the guy that's in everything else with Troy Baker, like unless you're that caliber of person. It's like sparse acting jobs here and there, and then you probably have another job to support yourself. So, but I, I, yeah, it would be it would be cool. Um, it would it would definitely be cool to do. I, I'd, I'd be down. I'd be down. <laughs> oh man. Would I trade the bar for voice acting? Um, I mean, yeah, probably. Like, if I, again, if, if it was like a consistent thing of like, I'm getting a lot of jobs, I'm great, I'm, people are paying me to do this a lot, then sure. If it was a part-time thing, also maybe, but like, I kind of just like doing it as a goof at the moment. While it would be cool to do like professional voice acting, again, no experience. No, oops, no I haven't been taught anything, just everything is self-taught. It's... Well, it's it's not my bar. I just manage it. Um, like I became manager in two thousand and nine, late two thousand nine, early two thousand ten. So I've been manager for seven years, but I've been working there since I was sixteen. Uh, I started behind the bar, and now I manage. What's my favorite class in season three? Uh, they're all unannounced, so I can't say. But there are some really cool classes coming in season three. I mean, yeah, here you can. Oh, Rob did post them on Twitter. That's right. Uh, all right, well, without going into detail, um, Flame Dancer is uh, very close to my heart. Um, I was very happy when we came up with that one. Um, 
it's it's a really fun class. So it's probably it's probably Flame Dancer or Alchemist. Like those are my top two from the new season. What's my favorite Eurums race and why is it Porks? It's not actually Porks. I love Porks, but my favorite Eurums race is probably Gnomes. They're just they're small, they're tiny, they're just they're adorable. They're great. Pretty great music, Final Fantasy music. I've just got a mix of like Final Fantasy, Undertale, like two Street Fighter songs, and then it's just uh, Skullgirls and now Valhalla music. It's great, it's a great soundtrack. Yeah, no, porks are porks are a fun class, fun race, uh, totally. Like, they're big. They're they're probably like alongside our kobolds, they're probably one of the most unique races in your realms. Like, obviously, it's not you know they're just orcs, but they look like pigs, and that's not something that's like never been done before. But I feel like we've done a pretty good job of making them their own thing. <laughs> I'm a good bad influence on your six scotch. Ooh, damn, man. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a terrible influence when it comes to drinking. Um, hopefully it's not great scotch, so you're not wasting good scotch on this. Oh, I did a posh pork. When did I do a posh pork? I don't remember doing a posh pork. Like, I didn't play a pork this season. I feel like, isn't Kane the only pork I've ever played? Is energy punch you based off Corel's flare punch? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's it's the mage thing. It's the sorcerer thing they do. Oh, right. Sorry. Gotcha. almost done here once again uh thank you guys for showing up tonight much fun was had uh i'll be doing this again hopefully next week uh oh uh, I'll, i can do some more stuff I can do some, uh cost of living i mean it's not that bad well it's all right um you know job market's not great it's like a case of like if i lost my job shit would hit the fan super hard but otherwise i get by um yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed tonight um it was real fun yeah be back next week hopefully to do more valhalla and uh yeah hopefully we'll have more stuff to talk about uh as to any we doing any more side quests probably not this year because we have like a, such a big change for season three stuff and we're trying to get ahead on season three so there probably won't be time to do side quests in between guys uh, I know a lot of you ask those questions like to Rob and stuff on Twitter, but I could probably confirm now that there's more than likely we're not going to have side quests this year. So, But that just means we'll have more work done on actual New Realm Season 3, so hopefully look forward to that. Anyway, uh, again, thanks guys. Thanks everybody who subscribed. Thank you all people who still are subscribed and have been subscribed for so fucking long, even though I don't stream very often. I really do appreciate it. Uh, everybody that tipped, that gave bits, that even just showing up and watching, just enjoying the stream. Uh, it's always much appreciated, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, so, with that, I think I'm just gonna say uh, goodbye. G, you know, like Jill says. Anyway, I'm, I'm done. Goodbye. 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 I don't have a thing set up for goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>